This is where the magic happens. Where you can ask anything. Don't be shy. In fact, the more intimate, the better. From matters of the heart to all your juicy parts, anything goes. Oh my God. Because Mo knows. Yes, Mo knows. Mo knows. Oh, Mo knows. Check, check, check. One, two. Test one, two. Check one, two. Test one, two. Broadcasting live from Manila, Philippines, at the Smart Bro Studios. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by San Mig Light. Oh, yeah! And here he is, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. <laughs> yes, it is a Monday. As soon as you hear the Philippine genius, I see Martin Uvera's eyes get real big. Like, what yeah. the hell's going on here, man? <laughs> Can't believe it. All right, it is the podcast on Valentine's, and what a treat. Boy, you know, this is too good. It's almost too good to be true. We've had so many great guests on both my radio show and on my podcast, yet for the first time, I never get nervous, ever, about anything. And I don't want to say I'm nervous tonight, but I'm more just so, I feel like we're so lucky to have him on Valentine's Day. Jesus Christ, Martin Ibero on the program. Martin, hello. All the listeners, what a loser. He's got no date on Valentine's. <laughs> you call the Philippine genius a loser. Right. No, no, me the yeah. loser. I mean, why is he out working yeah. on Valentine's? What's, mm-hmm. what's up, Mo? What's up, man? You know, I haven't seen you. I, I mean, I, see, I've seen, I think I saw you in passing once recently. Yes. But when I used to be on ABS, seeing you, I, I still get freaking um, starstruck. Well, let's explain why. <laughs> Wonder why. Is it, dog, is there something for this? <laughs> no, you know what it is. It's the star, it's a different kind of starstruck. It's the starstruck. I want to make sure I impress you because I've always kind of looked up to you. I mean, I ne- I'm never going to have your singing voice, but at least nobody carries a conversation better than Martin. Mo, you have surpassed me in so. Well, come on, <laughs> no. by the way, you can curse on the show, by the way. No shit intended. <laughs> no, seriously, you have. Sur- I watched you. I watched uh, as you started. Yeah. And to see you now, and now you're a genius, according to, to your to your <laughs> own. Right. Promo, um, but <laughs> it's it's self serving, but yet it's a great great uh, description of what you have become. Oh come on, seriously, I'm not, listen, seriously, I'm not the only one that calls myself that. Dude, you if wanna, you can I mean, do a show that has to be a game show with with all walks of life, if you sure. can do a show where it's all about gossip, and then you can come and do this. At night, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, but come on, you I, know what I mean, I would cut off, one of I would cut choice. off testicles or Got any you. other body parts to sing like you as well. Because the thing is, you're 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 a devastating package. You got the ability to carry a talk show, whether you're you're uh, you're a good singer or not, and then you're one of the best singers we've ever heard in, in, wow. in the fucking country at the same time. You know what I mean? It, What's my latest song, Mo? <laughs> I don't know, but you know what my favorite is of yours? What is it? Bakit? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sang Saglit. Really? Is my fucking favorite That's song of all time. That's a depressing song. Yeah, but I love it, man. I hurt when I sing that Who song. Who wrote that? Um, uh, Louis Ocampo and uh, Alan Ike, I think his name was. And you still do that in all your gigs yeah. and whatnot. and it's the hardest song to sing. I mean, I don't know, anyone in karaoke, they, they probably give up midway because it's <laughs> vocally challenging, it's it is, emotionally it challenging. Yes, you? Yes, he's nodding, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he needs another life. Is it, does it ever get you to tears, though? No. Oh, yes. Really? Several times. Wow. Yes. And oh. you know what the song is about, of course, right? It's about the death yeah, of... Yeah, right, right, right. But we, what we really don't know is a true story. It's the death of a child. Mm-hmm. No way. A miscarriage yeah. that... Uh, uh, Louis's wife had a, her second or third miscarriage. No shit, really? And he made it to the um, hospital like maybe an hour after the baby passed away. Oh my God, really? So I he didn't was know rushing that. there from I mean, a show with me. That. My God, it's my fault. Oh crap. Anyway, but that's the truth of it. Is it well, and of course, um, let's see, like you have the, the Be My Ladies, which was the number one. Is that your most popular song ever? Yes. And you get, do you ever get sick of like, singing? Yeah, that yeah. one especially. And I never get sick of it because I try and reinvent it. And now I find myself changing the words constantly mm-hmm. just to keep myself, you know, gotcha. sane. All right. Well, Martin Rivera is here on the podcast tonight. I was with Leia Salonga last night in Bangkok. She says hello. She speaks volumes of you, obviously, really? because you're well deserved. But she is, uh, I mean, man, she, she loves you just like everybody else does. So. We're going to be taking calls at 659-6969. Everybody who calls the show gets a prize. That's what we love about this program. You get an MP3 player Philips Go Gear mailed to your house by tradeport.com.ph. Also tonight, we have a trip for two to Japan in the, one of the jars. We have a BlackBerry 9780 for Caller oh, of the Night. Valentine's <laughs> treat, right? So, so Martin, all you got to do is think of all the callers you hear tonight. Okay. Which one you liked the best? The and best. Then we're going to give them a shot at winning these huge prizes. There's no bowl, a fish bowl with no number. No, we no, can, no, we, even... no. Just, just like I like the girl who 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 was double penetrated. That you know, that you know, it could be anything. Yeah, I and then see. whoever you dig, that's going to be the one. That's All right. A, there's a visual now in my head. All right, it's here we go. Not let's a good one. Let's kick it off with Paul. You're 16 years old. 
And her name is Paul. We're in trouble. Paul? Yeah. What's going on, buddy? You're 16, Kazan like City. Martin, you're very the great here. I hope you know who he is 16. Paul, do you even know who I am? Ask, could you ask yeah, your parents know, or I Google me you. now? I, I Google me right now. Twitter oh, thank you. All right. Oh, Paul, the Twitter. That's right. That's right. Do I answer you? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you're 16. You got some questions for us. What do you like? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Since it's Valentine's Day, I have a question about love and relationships. Go. How much truth is there to the statement that nice guys finish last? Mm. How uh, nice guys finish? finish you know, if you're truly nice and you have nothing else going for you, it it's 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 not enough to win the girls. You know what I mean? Even, a lot of girls like a gentleman stuff like that, but you got to have more qualities than just being nice, Martin. I mean, that's true. You got to be funny. You got to be talented. You got to be yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I know. Gotta, but are you good looking, Paul? <laughs> that would be number one. <laughs> You're 16, Paul. There's nothing really you got going really? for you right My now, God. but being nice and kind of good looking. Yeah, but why do they go for the kind of good looking, but douchebag type guys? Uh, why do they go for douchebags? Girls like bad boys. Yeah, Martin, why is that? Well, Mo would know better, I think. Yeah. You know I what know. it is. I think, I, I, think I, was, I, was thinking, I think it's females want to change. Here. Females, females <laughs> want to do the whole... I want to. I want to be able to make this guy into a better guy. I Maybe it's be, a challenge. Yeah, challenge. It's, it's a challenge. I want to make sure that he's gonna, under my watch, he's gonna be awesome. You know, yeah, he's a bad boy now. It's kind of exciting and it's thrilling. But guess what? I'm gonna make him awesome too at the same time. So there's <laughs> that. Challenge. There's that, Paul. No it, challenge for good guys because they're already good. That's guys. right. Yeah. See, the, the challenge for the females is to change the guy yeah. to what they want him mm. to be molded into. Our challenge is to win the girl over and have sex with her. That's our challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Paul. Yeah. Now, finishing last is a good thing if we're talking about sex. <laughs> Why? Because if you finish first, you're yeah, there's no good more. night, there's nothing. my love. You'll be sleeping the whole night. And she will be very disappointed. Mm-hmm. Mar- Going- Martin, I have a question for when it comes to winning girls over. Um, do you, how often do you use your singing ability to get the girl? Because you know it's your ace in the hole, right? Ooh. I mean, come on. I mean, you're, you're a great conversationalist, but you know you could... You can seal the deal, right? Would you just kind of well, do a little personal concert for we're her? We're talking for that night or for the relationship? Let's say for that night. Say you meet a girl that night. <laughs> you know, you, especially in the U.S., maybe, who might not know you. Okay, yeah, let's just yeah. say you meet some, some sort of foreigner girl. How, when do you pull out the I'm going to serenade you card? Hmm. Actually, never. It's no? really funny. Unless I'm introduced you, as you a have singer. You haven't No, 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 no. Shit, there was one time, there was one girl day. who wanted to play my video yeah. during the whole yeah. video ex, you know, <laughs> the potential video. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She right. would play my video while we were doing our own video. Um, but she knew where the cameras were. <laughs> Get it? It's not the same. I wasn't hiding anything. <laughs> Right. It's all out. Paul, yeah, it's all. work on your game. Um, don't be bad on purpose, but just try to round out. Don't be don't be overly nice. Don't make sure that they'll be able to do something themselves. You know, you might open every door and pull out every chair and carry everything, and then they're gonna be like, "Oh my god, I can't live my own life." You know, don't also, be over gentlemen. Let, let them let them be able to, you know, flex their muscles a little bit. Don't be too pushover. Don't be too accessible. Keep some but, secrets. Yeah, but, you but know? Still, yeah. you open still up. be a little nice. All right. Be good at being bad. Be bad at being good. There. Excellent. Good all right. All right, Paul. Hang in there, brother. <laughs> Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Let's go to Angela. She is in New Zealand. Angela, what's going oh. on? Angela? New Zealand. Yeah, we got a t- by the way, we got a ton That's of uh, collect, international calls here. Joanne, I think. Is it Joanne or is it Angela? Hmm. I think we lost her. Well, we'll try again. I'm going to be in New Zealand next week. Are you? Mm-hmm. Auckland? Auckland. Sweet. Nice country. You been there? I've never been there, Beautiful. so I'm very excited. Beautiful stuff. Let's go to our next caller. We have uh, Olive. You're 25. Olive, what's up? Olive. Uh, yep. yep. Hi. Hi. You're on the show. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, I had a question. Um, sure. Well, so because um, me and my boyfriend have been going out for like a year and a half, mm-hmm. and um, sex is amazing. Sure. It's really you know the best. But um, is it possible for um, that guys are really you know extremely tired to have sex? How How old is he? Seventy-two. Um, we're both twenty-five. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's a little odd well, for a twenty-five-year-old guy. And you've only been together a year and a half. It's not like you've yeah. been doing the seven mm, years. Time to have to sex or the second time around. You mean the second sex? The <laughs> number two. Are you serious? You're tired? That kind? Or he just got home uh, and he doesn't want to? Well, 
because um, he, he wakes up at like 4.30 in the morning, mm-hmm. um, goes to the gym, okay. uh, goes to work at uh, 9 o'clock, sure. um, and then he leaves work around 7, gets home around 8 o'clock. All right. And then, so we see each other every night after he comes home from work, and then sometimes, well, usually um, during week weeknights, we end up not doing it because, okay, how just, often- you know... How often are you guys doing it, though? Uh, before, pictures, we please? do it every day. <laughs> okay, and then what are you down to now? Uh, now it's basically like twice a week. Twice a twice week is a week. solid. Listen, uh, That's pretty good. Yeah, are you uh, married? But, uh, all of, twice a week is, <laughs> like, is fine. I thought it was just used to have, like, doing it every night. So there's a oh, big change. What a, what a, what a keeper. Wait, Wait, I'm really? <laughs> if you can't have him at night, then... Here's my number. In the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Martin's number. Yeah. No, do it in the morning. So no, but no, but but no, no, he, he's wa- yeah, he's waking up at four thirty. <laughs> yeah, though. I mean, yeah, come on. You What's his job? What does he do, Mo? Yeah, what is he doing at four thirty in the morning, getting up? He so no, uh, he, except at four thirty, has breakfast and then uh, goes to the gym. He goes. Uh, he oh, leaves okay. The house around no. 5:30. You need to be the breakfast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you, you need, need to breakfast. be the breakfast, or exactly. you need to be the exercise exactly. at the gym. Mm-hmm. It has to be one of the two, right? Is he going to the gym every day? Yeah. Okay, then say, hey, listen, babe, uh, come Lift on. this. We're doing, yeah, we're doing two times a week. <laughs> I'd like four times a week. If he turns you down, that's kind of... Well, you know what, Mo? You talk about it too much. It's, it's not sexy anymore. Yeah, but you have to at least, you at least have to be able to complain once, Mar- uh, Martin. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Communication. You really should be able to complain once. Yeah. Like, she hey, should listen. be naked when she complains. It's unusual for a guy to refuse sex. You know? Especially I know, I naked. know. That's, that's the thing. So, like, I, I'm wondering, I mean, is there anything wrong? I mean, oh, <laughs> There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong if it's two times a week. You don't you don't put up the red flag yeah. yet. You know that's all right. Mm-hmm. That, that's still good. That's a good rhythm. That's right. a good frequency. Right. If you want more, you just verbalize that you want more, and then you know see how that works out. Don't of course don't nag them like Martin said. Don't say you know, you'll lose the sexiness. Well, you don't feel it anymore. Him. What's wrong? Is it me? Are you seeing someone? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like from experience. Oh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but but Olive, you know, uh, yeah. every day, every day. I mean, you're you're you you uh, you've got a good problem here. Uh, we get a lot of calls here from guys who have wives and girlfriends that don't want to do it anymore after know, once every four that's, or five. That's months. what I'm worried about because like events look because we're engaged and yeah. oh. you know we're always yeah, yeah we're, we're getting married so much soon. To look I don't to. want it to be an issue. Now the, when you, when you try well like when you put your hands down his pants and and, uh-huh. and shit like that. Does he does he like say I'm tired I'm oh, sorry it, we can't, can't do it sometimes oh, no. oh what a that's pussy. different and, like, sometimes like there are that's times that he different. just like fall asleep I'm, like, oh uh, okay. what a pussy. honey okay, I told quick, you not quick, to call me here quick Martin is he cheating on her or no sounds like it sounds right like, yeah. I mean that's twenty five like, that's how I got caught I mean um, <laughs> <laughs> usually it's okay. like you're not touching me you must be touching someone else <laughs> that's right. Right? no yeah at twenty five and then wait 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 when you guys are having sex the two times a week is he does he look like he's having the time of his life. Oh yeah, he All does. Right. All right. Well, listen. Maybe he's fucking tired, but I don't like how he's going to the gym every day and not mm-hmm. and not sexing you mm, up. Yeah. If you can't have any in the up. evening, do it in the morning. Yeah. Or have because because most of the time. But, but we don't live together, though. That's oh, that's so why that's we can't do it in yeah. the morning. You do yeah. it every night, but you don't live together. So which means you, yeah, don't, yeah. You, li- you don't live together, but you do it. You used to do it every single night. You said, right? yeah, yeah, because mm. we see each other. Okay, every Olive, night. Olive, Olive, listen, you got to tell your vagina to calm down here. I, this is where I'm gonna end up here. <laughs> no, I'm just because, worried. Yeah, it's listen, just, you no, know, because you, I thought, listen, I thought you guys lived together. Yeah, you know, yeah me too. You know, if you're not living together and you want it every day, love, you just gotta have to tell that vagina <laughs> really? to, to take a break. So that changes. Yeah. The well, when do you know you're all, you're not on five? Because imagine he talks like this on five. We're in <laughs> deep trouble. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Uh, thanks for the call, Olive. Don't worry about it. Right? Our numbers are flashing now. All right, babe. Bye bye. All right, thanks. Well, see there. You you kind of then you put you a little mental note, Martin. She might be caller of the night. No, that's how it you, works. Uh, so far, she's in the lead. Yeah. All right, Jean. Jean, you're from Dubai. I think we have her. Jean, what's up? Jean? Uh, Tech Miguel. I think our I think our international calls are. There's something here that we do. We need to press this. Oops, sorry. No, no, that made it worse. Gene, we'll get to you just a little bit. Maybe during the commercial break. We were having a little bit of a technical problems earlier. All right, let's go to Kim. Kim, you're 29. Uh, what's going on? Kim, Quezon City. Yeah. Oh, you're a guy. All right, mm-hmm. Kim, what's up? How's the weather? Who's this? Yeah, this is Mo. This is Martin hey, Rivera. And this is... Yeah, the... what's up, right. Mo? What's, what's up, going on? What's going on, brother? 
Yeah, I got a question, man. We got the sex doctor now, so I got some a couple of questions about it, you know what I mean? All right, you're 29, you speak like a 15-year-old, but no worries. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> All right. Um, I always finish first, man. <gasps> how, how, how fast? Like seven minutes, that's it. You're lying to us. Well, Come on, kid. I swear to God. Martin seven just minutes. about it. He beat me. <laughs> yeah, no, because seven minutes, again, I that's that seven minutes right. is in the minimum... Of the average, I'd say. You know, the minimum. I'm telling you, man, five or three pumps and I'm gone. That, listen, Ooh. those are the longest fucking pumps in my life. What are they? <laughs> one minute and 45 second pumps? <laughs> See, you're lying to us. They're not seven minutes. You're lasting two I'm not, minutes. I'm not lying. I swear to God, dude. Yeah, okay, I'm not okay. lying. That's why, three, I, that's why I want to ask the doctor right here. Okay, three to five pumps. Three to five pumps and you're lasting seven minutes. Those are the slowest pumps. How long have you been having this? <laughs> Kim. Are All you right. in the Matrix or something? Yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? Slow motion. Everything is in slow motion. <laughs> All right, Kim. Sorry. All right, sorry. Okay, you're, yeah. you're finishing in seven months. Is your, is your girlfriend, your wife, your people upset? Seven minutes. Uh, she doesn't say anything, but shit, I guess she is. Kim, are you uh, masturbating before yeah. you have sex? Because how long have you been, do- have been having Hell this? Hell yeah, shit. I'll be ma- I always masturbate. Like, no. before, uh, before I do it, I always choke the chicken. Okay, you know so what I mean? how, like, how, how last longer? I don't know. How long? How, I'm how no long? genius, but don't choke the chicken before you. <laughs> no, 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 no Martin. Stop, that, that's that's one of the ways. Yeah. Because just stop it. Away. Yeah. Do you I know when it. you're having sex, the second time on your second round, you tend to last a little longer. Yeah. Yes. So get the first round out of the way by masturbating. My second round's the there next week, though. That's <laughs> <the difference. laughs> you get your first round out of the way in the bathroom, and then you go ahead and you have sex with your girlfriend or your wife or whatever, and hopefully you'll last longer. And that's not working for you. That's not. All right. Are you try mm. condoms with the uh, desensitizing cream on them? Uh, not yet. All right. You you nope. want to, you try. Mm, younger you, brother is growing up. <laughs> are, are you like this with all the girls that you've been with? The hell no. Oh, back, so it, back in the uh, days, back in high school, I could do like six times a day. You know? Yeah, so, I know. But, but 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 what are you? How long are you lasting each time? You've always uh, had this problem. Is this your rhythm? 30, 30 minutes, fifteen. Oh. I don't mm. know. Oh. Are so you is going this, through something stressful? Is school? this is this girl hot? Is this girl that you're in your Yeah, you're really oh, into this girl? girl? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, right. Ooh. yeah so Ooh. Cause, cause I think he just Perhaps came you're now. so into into the into the hotness of the girl that you know, um you can't help yourself. You haven't been you haven't done anything yet. You're already about to come. Okay, Kim, yeah, so same girl, same Gan, Gan, we, we get this question on a daily basis. Yeah. Kim, listen, we, we, we've lined up the solutions on past podcasts. Let me enumerate it for you real quick. Number one, masturbate before you have a sex. If that doesn't work, you can do the condoms or the desensitizing cream. If that doesn't work, try to make sure she's not making too much noise. You might be really into her. The yeah. louder she gets, the quicker you're going to mm-hmm. come. It's just one of those kind of mental things, you know? Okay. Number four, Think you want to shut the lights, things like that. Because sometimes when you see her, say she's got a big chest or a nice body, mm. it makes it even worse. Kaboom. Number five, get to a position where you're not doing thrusting. Uh, I feel like a lot of guys are coming fast when they're in a position where they're doing a lot of the Kiss pumping. Yeah. If yeah. you're on your back and she's riding you, or you can get oh, you can get in a position where you're not doing a lot of the gyrations yourself, mm-hmm. you might last a little longer. Take a little bit of everything there, put it together, and hopefully you're going to last eight minutes. Okay, so that's the secret, right? <laughs> eh, yeah. yeah, we could try it. It's there's no really no secret. It's your rhythm. Your biology yeah. says seven minutes. <laughs> it, that's what you're gonna do. It's in his mind now. It's not yeah. gonna be a mental thing in his mind. Right. Now. Everything so don't think now. About it. Everything now is how to fool yourself to last longer. But your body does seven minutes. That's just the way it goes. Right. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, brother. Thanks, bro. No worries. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Those are the types of. Are you having fun, Mark? This is an experience for me, but I don't know whether to talk or not talk. <laughs> <laughs> I might be okay. selling myself short here. Yeah, keep talking, buddy. I'm um, telling you. Let's go to. Uh, okay, let's get to people of your age. Okay. How old are you? Me? Yeah, you can. 49, dude. All right, 42 year old Cherry. <laughs> yes. What's going on, baby? Hi, Mo. Hi. I just want to ask something. Sure. So I've been married for 24 years now. Yep. Um, two years ago, my husband and I had a falling out. I strayed, mm-hmm. and it got nasty. Right. Um, he filed a lawsuit against me, which he eventually dropped after we now, got this back. Is, this is the lawsuit for cheating? Yes. Wow, what a puss. Guy, guys, I thought that was... Okay, I knew the law was out there. I just didn't know any guy who had the balls to sue his wife for cheating. <laughs> well, he's a lawyer, so... I oh, he so, is? Well, that explains yeah, yeah, everything. Okay. He just wanted to make your life I thought he was gay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Well, What's yeah, I, I figured he just wanted to make my life miserable. Yeah. That's why he did that. That's he, probably what he was doing still. Anyway, exactly. What's anyway, going on? well, we got back together because of initially the sex. And then afterwards, well, it, 
it, it was good because we were sneaking around because our family like didn't know that we worked together again. Mm. Okay. <laughs> And then eventually I moved back together. Oh, I moved back in with him mm-hmm. and we patched things up. However, recently, probably about six months ago, mm-hmm. um, it, it's not so good anymore. I mean, I don't know if we just don't have a chance to. Um, okay, okay, Cherry, you got back together with your ex husband or your separated husband because yes. of the sex. Yes. And now that the sex is not good anymore, you want to leave. Oh, no, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, so what's the question then? I, I don't know. Is it just because we are getting older or, you know, um, the opportunity is not there anymore? But um, I still don't understand what your question is. What do you mean? Like, um, like, is it just us getting old? That's why we're not doing it as often. Oh, okay. How often? Again, related to our last question. How often are you doing it? Well, um, about twice a month. Ooh. Yeah, twice a month. That's a little, mm-hmm. that's a little weak. Mm. I know. Like, before it was like every day. Okay, Martin. At forty nine, are you losing your driver? It's still it's heck no. It's still no. there for heck a guy. No. no. Yeah. 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 No. 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 And at forty two for a girl, I don't think. Um, well, they said they no, had, no, it she was good. good when they were sneaking around. It was yeah. good. Maybe they should start so, sneaking around again. Mm-mm. Yeah, the excitement. Okay. Oh, excitement. Really? Yeah. Exciting, you know. Because it started to become boring because it becomes a regular routine. Thing. Yeah. All right, horizontal. That mm, means there. You know. you cha- <laughs> are you changing up positions? May trying to make at least the sexual experience better, and still nothing, huh? Yeah. Now, are you, how often do you want to have sex with him? Well, probably three times a week. And he's the one who's doing the twice a month thing. Um, well, not really. Sometimes I'm also too tired from hmm. work. <laughs> okay. Well, if Again, you, it's listen, a communication. 25 years married, don't forget, which means... Yeah, but she's willing, though. She wants yeah. three times a week... And she said, yeah, I'm kind of tired every now and then. But if you have a female who's gung-ho, if you have a Mm-mm. female who's got an open... I mean, she's calling a... You're calling a, a show here, broadcasting to the whole <laughs> really? world, that you want to have sex more than more than what you're getting. That's a pretty good thing at 42 years old, Cherry. Yeah. I just want to make sure he's not sleeping with someone else. I want to make oh, sure... Well, that, I'm sure he's not. Okay, did you, did you gain a ton of weight? Um, no, but I'm on the chubby side. I mean, I've been like this for 10 years now. Mm. All right, but you know, maybe if you try to get yourself a little bit more attractive, see that works out. Is he taking any medication? Um, well, he is for his oh, heart. Oh, there you oh, go. Okay, fucking a medication Hi- will fuck you up big time. No, especially that the heart. Does stuff. he have high yeah. blood? Yeah. Blood pressure stuff. Kind of turns it even off. if he's been, I mean, he's been on it for quite some time now. Yeah, yeah. but absolutely, it, it, some of it's changed. Um, like because they stopped making the drug, so they the doctor changed it to another one. Maybe mm-hmm. you should throw a blue one in there just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never right. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So any suggestions for uh, some, 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 talk, talk, to his doc, talk to his doctor. Have him talk yeah. to the doctor. Say, hey, doc, are there any other medications I can take that have lesser mm-hmm. sexual side effects and maybe still have the same advantages? Because most of the whatever. time, it's the heart meds that. Yeah. Really, like what? What, what heart meds? All or yeah. just in everything in general? The, the basic first dose with LOL at the end, metoprolol. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. Don't, don't laugh the out loud. L- yeah, is he taking that one? Your Maybe you're life. laughing out loud too much. Yeah, is he taking that one? <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, if it the is, one that controls the high blood pressure. Yeah, because yeah. if he is taking metoprolol, it decreases, it, it enhances sexual um, erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Wow, we learned right. something So go, go ask for yeah. a different antihypertensive drug. L- listen, okay. guys, uh, you know, as, as often as we give the advice about the lessening of the sex drive, mm. you should, we should always ask, number one, are you taking any medication? Because yeah. medication is it usually affects. the number one culprit mm. of, of these things. That's true. All right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, doll. Appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi- hide, his, hide his heart medication. <laughs> you guys are having sex more often. <laughs> And don't call if anything happens. <laughs> That's right. That wasn't me who said it. If he stops pumping. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Janet. You're 30. Kaloohan, what's up? Hi. Hi. Mo. Martin Yvera is here. What's up? Um, I just want to ask, um, how can you, or will you rather um, tell somebody that you really don't love them or you have fallen out of love or would you just live on a lie? Ooh. Um, and pretend that you still love them or love him. You know, living the lie part is difficult because your body will, you'll act upon it. You know, you can't just pretend, I'm going to live a lie and then just act and behave. Yeah, it'll eventually show. Yeah, it'll eventually come mm. bite you in the ass. No. So you should kind of almost be be open about it, you know? M- Martin, your thoughts? That's a hard one. That's yeah. a really hard one because you, are you doing it for family, for the kids? Or you know, what, what are you doing this sacrifice? Why are you sacrificing are you your true feelings and living a lie? 
maybe it's for the kids, maybe it's for a, for a happy marriage, or your parents stayed married for a hundred years, you have to too. And That's these right. things pressure there. come into play, you know. Mm. But yeah, it's, it's really hard to live a lie and, and, and show your partner that you Because eventually love, it's going to show. You love each other. You on know? Your, on your it will. Something's got to give. Yeah. Something's got to give and something uh, eventually will. Now, now Janet, does, does, uh, are you the only one not in love with him and it, or is he kind of not in love with you at the same time? Do, do you feel that? Um, that I don't know. Because you're 30, you know? And if you were going to give up on a marriage, and I, not, not to say let's give up quickly because, you know, that we don't want the, our stats to be all fucked up here, but at 30, there's a good recovery period for both of you if you decide to no longer, uh, you know, yung, yung relationship. you're young enough to recover he's young enough to recover I don't know how many kids you guys have um, but it's not like you're breaking up in your mid 40s or something like that yeah, what, made then, you, what made you fall out of love no it's not for me um, actually it's my friend that has a problem with that sure <laughs> <laughs> husband, husband's downloading this right now with a, with a, with a gun through his throat alright well, listen. Uh, if they're as young as you are, they can recover. If they absolutely think that it's it's not it's not yeah, it's not working. You know, out. it's it's geeky to say that you there are um, things that you can do. You analyze things. Your why, why are you feeling this way? Why is he feeling? Why is he acting that way? Um, it's geeky, but you know it works. There's no one else. No one else, <laughs> Janet. You're not cheating on him. You are you attracted yeah, no, to anyone? No. <laughs> no. Hey, he's not absolutely attracted. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. All right, doll. Thanks okay. for the call. Have a good one. Okay, right, thank bye-bye. you. Bye bye. There's someone oh. else. There's someone yeah. else. Did yeah. you hang up? Is she yeah. still yeah. <laughs> <She's> there? Yeah. <laughs> She's Definitely there. Vince, you're 19. Alabang, what's up? Yes. Uh, yes professor, I have a question. Ooh, I, ha- I, have, I see your problem. Small penis. Yeah, but huh? like when we do it, you me that? and my girlfriend, she says she likes it and stuff, but She's me, I get insecure. Yeah, how, because, how, big is, how big is the penis? Um, I think I'm holding it right now. Can you see <laughs> 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 and LP, what do you call it? Oh, you're awesome! All right, how, how big? How big uh, is the penis? Maybe, maybe around uh, four to four and a half. That's 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 it. That, that is it. Mister Excitement, yeah. or yeah, 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 not yeah. there yet? Oh, okay. Because I'm a bit on the big side. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, wait. Mm-hmm. Once you start losing weight, happens. okay. Start first of all, weight. yeah, four inches. Okay, fine. You're you're a tad under the. Uh, what we call the acceptable range for, for, for the average and stuff. So you're okay. Um, how are you girth-wise? Um, I don't know, about thin, two. Thin, two? One and a half, yeah. One so and a half. It's pretty two. thin as well, huh? Yeah. You actually yeah. measured this, buddy? <laughs> no, roughly. <laughs> Where's that ruler? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, four, 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 four and a half out of at a one and a half, uh, you know, uh, girth. You can lose some weight. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, th- that'll that'll get you a little bit. But you have a big tummy. Yeah, a bit. But I'm trying to lose it. But like for now, what, like I want to do it when we want to do it right now. Like I'm not that. Yet, be so. creative. Okay, listen. You gotta have to beef up on your uh, your oral sex skills. There. Um, you're gonna have to be able to practice really, your tongue. Yeah, practice the I'm mouth. Just being work really downstairs. poetic, you know. You guys ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be a gentleman. I said, be creative. I said. Yeah, <laughs> listen. When you lick that pussy, it's gotta be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> there it is. No, it's no, subjective. Is that Hamlet? Being creative. Creative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, but Vince, um, yeah. uh, honestly, you got to work. You got to do the. You got to be able to work the foreplay. You got to master it. I mean, small penis guys are excellent at that because they know their they know their limitations. Yeah. They know what they need to do. Mm-hmm. In the end, you want to satisfy your girlfriend. What's the best way to satisfy her? To make sure she either has an orgasm if she's she able comes. to, or you know, yeah. really just she comes. enjoys the whole process. Yeah. And that's going to yeah. be via your tongue. We're happy when they're happy. We're happy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, because we're all in the business to please. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Lose weight. But lose weight. But I said the oral one, like what positions and stuff can I do? To well, you can do the doggy like, style to make mm-hmm. yourself feel bigger inside her. That always yeah. works well. Yeah, because the missionary again. What well, the, the reason why I ask you about your tummy is because it affects your performance yeah, yeah, yeah. when you're doing the, the missionary. Because sometimes it's, it's so do the doggy it out. So I don't know yeah. if if she's comfortable with the doggy style. Yeah, uh, she, well, cause, she likes cause it. There'll be but girls. Remember, when, when you're doing the, re- when you're entering her from behind, like say a, a spooning position, make sure to yeah. work the clitoris with your hand. You gotta, you gotta be able to master <laughs> yeah. that whole thing. Don't, because don't remember, just let your penis work. Yeah, you have two hands. You have your. You're, 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 you're not gifted down there. You're gonna have to be able to do everything else. Yeah. Well, all right. Mm-hmm. And start losing weight, Vince. Come on. <laughs> stimulate yeah, I'm her. To, I'm stimulate her clitoris and then her nipples at the same time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, brother. And yeah. you're 19. It'll come in yeah. time. Don't worry. Yeah, lose yeah, weight. Yeah. yeah. All right, brother. 
Yeah. Thank you, Professor. You're welcome. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Genius. <laughs> Professor Genius. There, see. <laughs> he talked a little bit too much about the small penis thing. I think maybe he... No, it's not no. because of... Exp okay, mm. just making sure. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> well, you spoke too much about it. <laughs> all right, we're going to take our first commercial break. Hey, Martin Rivera is here. We'll talk to him about uh, just, you know, we'll talk about music. We'll talk about his life also. Well, aside from taking your calls at 659-6969, it is Good Times with all the podcast. This is brought to you by San Miguel Light. It's also powered live here at the Smart Bro Studios. After a few minutes, we shall return. Trip to Japan for two, as well as a BlackBerry phone. All of the grabs this evening. Don't go away. Stay t t t t t tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Dude, what do you model? You don't point it. Uy, si Sam Pinto. Puede nga. Uy, San Miglite. Puede. Low calorie San Miglite. Magaan sa chan. Para kung mabang inuman. Puede mo join friends ko. Puede. You know, guys, exercise is best in the morning. Jolt you out of bed, jump into a cold shower with Bello Men's Energizing Bar. It gives you energy to start off your day, and it has beads to smoothen out those rough spots. Now, if she can't resist jumping into the shower with you, that's definitely more than exercise. Hi, this is Hillary Clinton, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine genius. 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 Good Times with Mo, the podcast, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. Aww. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by San Mig Light. And powered by Smart Bro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast, it is Valentine's Night. And wow, we are beyond lucky to have him in our presence on a day like this. Martin Rivera on the program. Martin, thanks for being here, man. My pleasure, Mo. My you having pleasure. a good time? Very good time. Excellent. This is the TV show I wish I had. <laughs> <laughs> Where anything goes, this is the one. <laughs> You know, even till this very day, when I uh, when I talk to the Channel Five executives and stuff, they're like, "Hey, what about doing a talk show and stuff like that?" It's still your peg, man. You're Martin after Why don't you do one? Still then? the peg. You should do it. I'm doing this. This is a lot better. Well, you can be you here. There's no, yeah, there's yeah. no, no, no one, censorship no up here, right? But you can always tape that one as well. I don't know. It was just. It's still. You know, why, you know it's not really in the uh, in the ball moving stage. But right. when in the conceptualizing conceptualizing part, mm -hmm. it's always still your peg. You're really. You're well, I'm honored. Right I'm was flattered. Awesome. Love to bring that show back. Why don't you? Is Why it, not? It's just. Is it one of those things? Have you talked to anybody about it? Well, all, all the stations will tell you that it's not the thing right now. Mm -hmm. Everyone's following the whole game show trend or the That's teleseria right. trend. That's so. Until it gets back to that. But your show was the late night type. Yeah. Right? Yes. Oh, it was so yes. good. So, oh, God. That's so, so fun. Are, that's where I he started his little, uh, yeah. you could tell his little motor mouth was just starting then. <laughs> no, From sincerely. Old, yeah, motor sincerely. Mouth. And it's not just motor. that. You know, again, you know, I'll, I'll bring it back again is, okay, it's not just a talk show like Letterman style Leno. It's your host can fucking bring it in song like uh -huh. to, to, to wrap up the show uh -huh. or you open up the program, right? I mean, Exactly. Uh -huh. Because so I'm not it, much it, of a joker. But was, it, I mean, you know perfect. what I mean? Like like a Leno with these one-liners and they have these genius writers. You know, all these talk shows are all about the writers now. Mm -hmm. Right, so. but you did that on your own during the interview yeah, process. Plus, you can start on the bookends. You can still devastate a song. So with, with the singing, yeah, well, yeah. That's, that was that was the only thing I did that they didn't do was the singing. Now, how do you how do you like the music uh, industry now? I know that you know it's hard to probably make as much money. I know you probably don't have that problem because you can still sell out of big venues, no, you know, rather easily. But just in general, the 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 the, uh, the industry on whole is is it kind of depressing? Um, in a way, yes, because it's not the same as as far as like city sales because of the piracy. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. um, but, but I think the young singers and songwriters and producers, I think they're, they're not really enjoying the ride. As much as I did back in the '80s, because it, it, th things are coming too easily. Yeah, your 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 American Idols and, and all mm -hmm. of these shows that that, that copy it and, and try and be like it. So many ways, YouTube. I mean, my God, yeah. even us right now. I mean, even just this alone, right. you know. There's so many things you can do now that we couldn't do then, mm -hmm. and it's becoming too many things and too many ways for young kids to, and, and young singers 
to just take it for granted. They're not enjoying it. It's just, okay. uh, just you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like part of life yeah, now, as, as opposed to what? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing all over the world. Are you kidding? You know, they're, they're forgetting about the, the adventure part yeah, of it. Yeah. The, the paying your dues almost as well, right? Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you exactly. see them being a little bit more spoiled then because of that? M very much spoiled. Yeah? Too spoiled. I mean, they, they have to know how to pay their dues because when... The low times come, and they will. Yeah, yeah. They right. won't know what to do. Yeah, they won't know what to do. Hey, do you ever? Do you ever go through a low time? You... All the time. Really? Yeah. Yesterday? No, just kidding. <laughs> every, every. <laughs> the seasons for for us. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'm the guy. You know, he's got a big show at the Araneta. Mm -hmm. It's his moment. It's sold out. And then the next day, you know, what are we gonna do now? You know. Mm -hmm. Do you do you put any um any uh, I guess added attention to all the, the rivalry be between you and, and Gary. Uh, I did before when yeah. I was much younger, yeah. but now we've outgrown that already. Mm -hmm. And Gary and I have been on tour together sure, already, sure. which is really odd. Yeah. But um, to, to be working with him and learning more about him, I, I'm, I'm beginning to learn how silly it was then to have taken it so seriously. Right. The whole I, I did ask Pops, though. I go, Pops, who's better? Who's the better singer, Martin or, or Gary? She's like, easy, Martin. Easy. See? Easy. Not, 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 like, like, not, not to take anything away from his ability, but, but easily. Yeah. But you're... Pops is the first one to tell me, look at that guy. You see that guy? You should do that. He knows his angles. He knows his camera shots. You don't care. Your mouth is bigger than the microphone. We can sometimes not even see the band with your mouth. And then Gary's all, you know, left side, right side. Everything is the way it should be. You know what I'm saying? So... She also admires Gary. <laughs> All right. Martin Rivera here on the program. Phone number 659-6969 on Valentine's night. Let's try Joanne now. Let's see if this really works out. New Zealand. Angela, what's up? Hi. Hi, dear. You're on the show, finally. I'm oh. sorry about that. You've been on oh. for about, a, about 40 minutes. You, have, you yeah, have a question. Yeah, it's all good. Go ahead. What's up? Yeah. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Hello. Hello, Martin. I'm Hi. Really I'll see you next week. See you next week. Are you Hello. in Auckland? Are you in Auckland, Angela? Oh, no. I'm in Taranaki region. Oh, just down the street. Get over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Yeah. yeah, February 19, I have a show there in Auckland. Yep. All right. What's up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, my question was about... Um, Whoa! There. Holy shit! That no was my one. fault. I'm so sorry. I was. You just deleted. I her. thought no. I thought I was hanging up on a guy from from Amman, Jordan. And well, I it sounds impressed. the same. Jordan. I'm Auckland. sorry. All right, all right, okay. Angela, you're back. I'm sorry, love. That was my fault. Um, all right, go ahead. My so question. Okay, okay, my question was, uh, I did. Uh, um, you know, for my first time was last December, Sex? 2010. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? Just like 19. Sweet. All right. Okay. And it didn't feel really good. I mean, it didn't feel anything. You didn't feel anything? It's the fat no. guy. It's the fat <laughs> guy. He <laughs> was there for the weekend. <laughs> With this one. Oh. Now, now you, didn't, you didn't feel at least uncomfortable? Sometimes you'll hear that a lot. I mean, the, the great majority of females say that, okay, not enjoyable because it hurt. But you say you felt nothing. Um, I, I felt good, but it's not like, you know, the, the orgasmic... Good. Well, uh, if you're waiting sensation for sensation and yeah. stuff, yeah. But Angela, no. you might no. be well, you might be watching too much gossip. Mm -hmm. or you might be listening to all these things where females are supposed to have orgasms. You're 19. The chances of you having an orgasm during intercourse are like 10. percent And I mean, this is your first time. Like, yeah. The first time will not yep. will not never be like the ones that you. Was see there another in... guy in the room? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no. was your mom there? Were you alone? <laughs> oh my god! Your first time will <laughs> no, never I mean, be like I mean, the ones that you see in the movies um, or in porn. Yeah. Oh big, yeah, big, yeah, big, yeah, but. You know, you you always you know feel like there's something coming up or like it feels really good, but not really orgasmic. Yeah, but Angela, in time, in time, love yeah. will come again. You're not mm. gonna, you're not, literally and figuratively. In time, <laughs> you will see it. It'll be there because if it's your, are you a big masturbator? Uh, not really. Not really. And then, and then the guy that had sex with you, Australian dude or New Zealander type of dude, big white guy. Oh no, no, he's a he's a Pinoy. Really? And then, oh. how old is he? How old is he? Yeah. He's twenty. Small penis, yeah. big penis. You uh, wouldn't even know. You, you would Aquarian, Capricorn. <laughs> you big. Would, no, because I, 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 he's big. I, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued why you say you felt nothing. You know, and, and that's not maybe you're, maybe she's waiting for for that orgasmic feeling. You yeah, know? yeah, like you, in the movies. Or stop, right. stop stressing yourself and stop waiting for that feeling. Just enjoy that the time and the sex that you're the 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 situation you're in. Because if you are preoccupied with when am I going to come? When am I going to 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 do to feel this? It's not going. It's, it's you. You'll be disappointed a lot. Yeah. This may be a stupid uh, question, but do you, are you in love with this guy? 
Oh, very much. Yeah. Um, no, we're if doing she wasn't a ready, long distance she, relationship. Yeah, if she wasn't ready, she would have the vaginismus kick in, a doc, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah she, if she wasn't ready, you didn't really love him on the first time. Your your vagina will kind of lock up, yeah, and then yeah. you know you'll have that very popular vaginal lock that you're. She would be surprised. Right? <laughs> but you're fine. But I, is it normal? You know. Yeah, yeah, for the, the first, first time. time. Yeah. For the first time. Yeah, yeah. You know, call us back after I'd say ten sessions, and then I want to mm, see where yeah. your opinion is. Oh if that makes no, sense. no, it's not really <laughs> ten like seconds. first ten time. Sessions. First time, I did it a lot. Oh, you've done and, it a lot already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, and yet not, and it's not getting any better. No. Okay, maybe your boyfriend sucks at it. Maybe. Yeah. Or did so. some did something happen when you were when you were younger? You know, we were trying to block whatever. What was the music? No, play? no. I, I, she doesn't sound like she's, <laughs> she's she doesn't she doesn't sound like she's a trauma victim. My thing is. No, listen, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, listen, yeah. Angela. Why not try masturbating? Mm-hmm. Get that. Get that kind of sexual um, satisfaction with yourself first, and then start um, teaching him how to do it so, so he can do it for oh, you. Because he, I have a he feeling goes your down on me. I know, but he might not be doing time, it good. Is he good at it's it? It's good. It feels good. But. But when it's vaginal intercourse, no, yeah, it's yeah, not so, yeah, that's, there, that's, that's just the problem. way it is. Yeah. Mm. You're gonna have to try to get your orgasm before you do the mm-hmm. actual intercourse, so you won't complain so much about it. All right? Yet yeah, you're not alone in in not having orgasm during penile penetration. Yeah, actually, you're in the majority that yeah, doesn't. That's a majority. Okay. Listen to Kenny G. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, get in, get in the mood. Get in the mood. Why Kenny G? I don't know, it's sexy, right? It's sexy-ish. No? Sure. <laughs> Work for me. <laughs> She's 19, but yeah. Well, good. Oh, don't play Barry Manlow. You might just commit suicide. But just... All right. Kenny G. No thanks, thanks for the call, babe. Yeah. Appreciate oh, thank it. You, thank hey, you, thank you. Good luck the, on the show. Yeah, spread the word. Uh, Martha Rivera will be there in Auckland next week. All right? Oh, oh my God, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, love. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. No worries. Bye. Yeah, that's Angela. I can All only right. sing for her. Just tell her. I cannot help her with this problem. I can just, you can just sing, sing for her. <laughs> that's How it. about Martin Yvera during sex? I mean, yeah, the background. Sing? Is that a question and an offer? Because you are a man. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a little too close to well, the table. You've, you've been fucking around with his hands <laughs> since earlier during commercial break. You're like, that's what they've been doing. Does this mean I'm gay? <laughs> this, he's caressing Martin's hands with Does this mean I'm gay? Does this mean I'm gay? Yeah. No, but Martin, if I like Martin, it, that means I'm gay. And, and Martin looked at him like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> All right, um, where were we? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Martin s- singing, question. singing during sex, no? Singing during. I think the idea of, of good sex is to make her sing. Gotcha. That's mm, what you yeah, got to there. do. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got to make her sing. Mm-hmm. All right, let's yeah. go to JJ. You're 25. You're in San Juan. What's up? Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey guys. Hey. Um, good evening, all. Yeah. Martin, Doctor Gan. Hi, JJ. Yeah. Anyway, just to start, me and my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. We're both big gamers. Sure. Yeah, we love video games. Yeah. Actually, that's how we met. All right. And, well, lately, my girlfriend's been kind of getting hooked to an online game. Which game? Uh, yeah, World of Warcraft. Oh, of course. You're fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. That's relationship killer. <laughs> that's Actually, sabi nga ng iba, parang ako nga yung babae. Hindi siya ding lalaki daw yung... World, world of War... Listen, there's the call of duties of the world that finally come to an end eventually after a few weeks of gaming. World of Warcraft does not end. That's yeah, relationship that's right. suicide. It is. Yeah, so, but, he's like the girl in so relationship. Yeah, he's and complaining now. He's the one <laughs> complaining. Usually it's All right. the guy. So what's the question? Yeah, she's, she's ignoring you now, yes? He's ign- actually God. We haven't even had sex for a while, <laughs> so yeah, she's been ignoring me. Actually, look at this. I'm calling on Valentine's Day. So. Ooh. Ooh. and she's playing. Ooh, and we're answering. I guess I don't so. know what's worse. Fucking a. She's playing. On she's Valentine. playing right now. <laughs> mm, I guess that's. <laughs> Go to the that's control panel. Answer. Go to the, you know the panel and the, with the electricity in your place <laughs> and just turn that sucker off. <laughs> no, no, no. That will make things worse. <laughs> JJ, you're 25. And then run. Um, man, how how many hours is she spending on this thing? Three, four hours a day? Um, she works the night shift. So okay. first thing she does when she gets home is oh, shit. play. Yeah. Listen, you know what? I'm going to tell Video you right games. now. I, I wasn't lying when I said World of Warcraft is a relationship killer. You're just mm-hmm. going to... Let's just take it to the basics. You're going to have to say, hey, listen, 
Uh, we are in a relationship. I, we're a fucking team. And if I'm just going to sit here and watch you play video games every day, all day long, then there's nothing in it for me. I like World of Warcraft. I don't mind playing it with you. I don't mind discussing with you. We can have fucking lunch and talk about it. But we can't do this every day. We're not. We're having, we have zero sex life. <laughs> we have zero romance. We're fucking Valentine's Day. I'm calling in Mo, Martin, and Jen about <laughs> how much this blows. You know, um, it's just, it's just, it's, this is not something I'm going to be a part of. I, and nobody, um, nobody wants and- to be a part of this. No, but actually, she's just been playing for a month. So I've been thinking maybe it'll die down a bit. No, later do you on. know a person who plays World of Warcraft that dies down in a bit? I mean, when I I already brought it up to her, but well, she always says na dati ako rin naman do yung addict, so I should understand. Yeah, that's the right term. Okay, addict. listen, you know, let it let it let it get to you. Let it get to you for uh for uh, a couple of months. See how long you can take it, and then eventually you're gonna break. True, and that's the way mm-hmm. it's gonna be. So you think it's hopeless? There's no way I can no, bring her back? No, it's not hopeless, but this game destroys relationships. Yeah, and you either she 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 might you guys might be one of those or you might not be. Well, just just I mean There's for no one loss. thing she's already added some of well, there are no. a lot of guys and she No, I've never played game. World of Warcraft. I just know the stories. Martin wants to know is there a pause? There yes a you pause? can you can pause, but the okay, problem is sex like Okay, time, let's go. But no, that no, play with that, my remote control. Does, Come on, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't work, work that, that way. way. The really? high, the high the of World of Warcraft, leveling up your guy or whatever, yeah. all that shit is better than sex to these people. Mm-hmm. Freak! I'm giving up Angry Birds that's what, now. That, he's, he's, his term is right. It's addicting. Damn, <laughs> Angry Birds. <laughs> yeah, forget the plants thing because I forget, I plants versus yeah. zombies awesome. Also, oh, yeah. man. All right, or let it play naked. There you go. JJ, listen, uh, buddy. See how much you're gonna stomach this. It's gonna make you uh, break one day, and let's just see. I mean, whether it be one month, two months. Hopefully, she gets sick of it. If it's uh, no, month number three and four, and you can't take it anymore, then then you know it's time to move on. Yeah, that's a big hope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can. Right. I'm still hopeful because yeah. I mean, three years not incoming. So. Yeah, but it's not as devastating as say gambling, alcoholism, mm-hmm. drugs, or any of that mm-hmm. shit. But hey, listen, uh, online gaming or World of Cork Warcraft sickness. It can, can take a toll. Yeah, yeah. Can fuck you guys up mm-hmm. good. All right. It yeah. takes time. All right, um, thanks. Can I have one more question? Sure, quickly. Just a quick one. Go. Um, I want to know if you guys play video games and what's your favorite hmm, um, question. Ma- Martin, do you play? I'm so bad. I, like, I just learned Angry Birds and I'm so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get that freaking bird to poo. You know, that one. I don't ever want to press it. <laughs> Wait, what? You press anywhere on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, like, press it. it goes off. Yeah, the thing goes off when I press it. Okay. All right. Um, so he plays Angry Birds, but is he, yeah, lukewarm about it. I'm not a big gamer. If anything, it would be sports games. Um, you know, your your 2K11 mm-hmm. things like that. Um, okay. I play a little World of Warcraft every now and then. Oh, sorry, not World, uh, Call of Duty every now and then. But it makes me dizzy. But aside from that, yeah. I'm just way too busy for that shit. Okay. Well, thanks for the advice, and I might be calling you again yeah. <laughs> later. No. Good luck. If things get worse. Yeah, talk, talk, yeah. To her, talk to her. No worries, buddy. Only thanks. get better. Thanks for yeah. the call. Bye bye. Bye, guys. All right, uh, let us uh, take, we have our international calls on that. hold, ready to go. We have someone from Jordan, we have someone from Dubai, the Middle East, being well represented tonight, but let's go to the Filipinos, they've been home for a little longer. Um, let's start with Red. Red, you're 39, Kansas yeah. City. What's up? Let's start with Red. Red, turn off your uh, computer. Sure, there, there, there you go. Yeah, no worries. How are you, Mo? I'm good, what's up? Hey, Martin, hey, Dr. Hey. Gan. Hi. Well, I don't know. You, you have a very short memory. Well, my girlfriend called this morning, Vicky. Uh, your morning show? She called my morning show today. What was her, what was her question? Uh, well, she was like, um, no, I would not say. Com- she has some concerns during her sex life. Okay. Like I work too hard and I don't get, you know, we were like humping regular rabbits uh, the first two years. Mm-hmm. So, and, you know, you, you, you asked her that, you know, you tell your boyfriend to call the show and, you know, maybe you can help me out. Well, Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, that's right. There's a girl who called there's a girl who called the show today says she's not having enough sex with her guy cuz her guy's too busy and all that stuff. I told him call the show and I'll verbally give him a thrashing. Yeah, about yeah that's, that's what I've heard. So. Okay, red, <laughs> stop being a fucking pussy and start <laughs> having sex with your girlfriend. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> all right. No, because you listen, for it, I have a national radio show. You know, true, uh, true. it's broadcast live throughout. You, I adore, uh, no, I adore and, you. And, and listen, I'm not I don't hate you or anything. I'm just trying I want you and your girlfriend to have great sex. Of course. Of course, of course. If you're gr- listen, we get so many calls on both this podcast and on the radio show about men saying my girlfriend doesn't want to have sex with me. Yep. And we do this every day. Gan concur. Yep. I mean, it happens so often. When you have a girlfriend or a wife who's willing to have sex at the at the at the frequency at some of the calls <laughs> we've had today, and your and your girlfriend who called this morning, 
you should be blessed. Yeah. And of course, of course, I am, I am. Yeah. Take advantage so start of having their sex. horniness. I am, yes, I will, I will. Because yeah, if eventually <laughs> girls, women, they they have they have this biological clock. They have a certain time where their their libido goes down. Okay. So take advantage of that time where they you know they're they they want you. Or the fact that she's thirty nine and she's still yeah. there and yeah. willing to have sex with you constantly. You no, no, I'm thirty nine and she's thirty one. Oh. Oh my okay. God! Yeah, she's gonna start banging thirty two year olds if you don't jump on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell so you right now, buddy. Now hoping. <laughs> What's keeping you so busy anyway? Why aren't you? Well, well um, I work long hours. Well, I'm a chef, so. Um, mm. I, I I work in Alabang, so I leave my place like five thirty, right. six, and right. then I come home like eight in the evening, and then that's oh. the time she goes to work. I bring her to work. Well, I'm a good boyfriend. I know I don't sleep around. Good, good, um, good. I mean, I, I provide for the family. I, I I'm, a, I'm responsible. Yeah, it, you know, I, I'm not complaining. I'm not. You know, I'm just saying that there are some things that that you know I need to I need to spice up a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there. And, and, and listen, uh, Red, sex is the best form of entertainment that true, is free. True. That is free. You, it's zero charge most yeah, of the yeah. time. I right? heard this morning that yeah. you, we could do it like 365 a day. You do it 365 a year, I'm telling yeah. you, your relationship's going to take yeah. off, man. It's going to be true, awesome. True, true. All right? It's a, one yeah. go- it's a good form of relaxation. Where is yes. she right now? Well, she's at work. Well, okay, we had sex. Today? This, uh, right before she left. Yeah. There, good yeah. job. Oh, Way to go. Very good. Yeah. Probably, Most probably wild. tomorrow again. <laughs> Give yourself yeah. a pat on the back. I have my shortcomings, but you know, I, I, I will make it up. I will make it up. Shortcomings are a good thing. Take right. advantage of this time, dude. All right. True. You know, That's my boy, Red. Yep. Thanks, you, man. You guys take it easy, you okay? Too, brother. Thanks. Thanks okay, for the call. Bye-bye. bye-bye. Fun. Let's go to Zahir. Zahir is in yeah. Jordan. Yeah. A man, Jordan. Yeah. Zahir. Yeah. So here, oh, we gotta wait for you. It's like a room. There's a delay. So here, yes, yeah. Is it here? Don't listen to the computer. You gotta listen to us here on the phone. All right. I'm listening to you. All right, not on the computer though. Is here? Okay. Listen to my voice now. Okay. All right. What's the What's the question, buddy? <laughs> so here, not on the computer, man. Listen to us here on Skype. Uh, I'm listening to you, okay. but the voice is, is cutting. All right, start talking, buddy. Go ahead. What's the problem? There's no problem. I'm. Uh, we are talking about the separated in five or six months, and I don't like to make any uh, make love uh, with any context without the true relation. That's mm. it. Okay, I have here, you want to marry a Filipina. It's a Filipina or any, anywhere, we are, we are a human being. Is it here, buddy? We're not, we're not, we're not on the same page here, man. Uh, hold he on wants one second. To be a yeah. human being. Let me get you our bikini girl to, to try to work <laughs> your stuff out, and then we'll put you back on the show in just a little bit. Let's go to uh, Rona, you're 25, you're in Quezon City. What's up, Rona? Hi. Hi, babe. How can we help you? Um, yeah... Uh, sorry. It's okay. okay. I'll introduce you to Zaheer. You guys are making a perfect couple. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to be human? That's right. What's going on, baby? Okay. The story is like this. Um, I have a childhood friend. Mm-hmm. And he was my crush ever since we were kids. Sure. And I think he also felt the same thing. Okay. So, and... Oh, I expected him to pursue me when we were in high school, mm-hmm. but he didn't. Okay. And his best friend did. <gasps> All right. Mm-hmm. So I had a relationship with his best friend. All right. Yeah, it was a long distance relationship, but it lasted for five years. I'm bored. Yeah, but it didn't work out. Okay. He just broke up recently. All right, oh. so Rona, let's mm-hmm. go, baby. What What do you got? Um. Huh. The question. Well, what's the question? Uh, my question is, uh, but this guy, my childhood friend, went abroad and got married. Sure. And then recently he came back here for vacation. And he better. confessed. When we saw each other, he confessed <gasps> that he never really <clears throat> got over me. Oh, All right. And then he got That's married for, for the reason that he thought that there's no really a chance for us to be together since sure, I'm in sure. a relationship with his best friend. All right. So the problem is, like, well, he was in a, well, he's in abroad. He couldn't understand why he kept dreaming about me. So he tried to You're seek for, <laughs> for, for advice like that, you know, and well, he found, and 
he, he thought it was probably because of his unconfessed feelings that he tried to repress for okay, a long okay. time. Okay, you, okay. You've established you're awesome. Now, where are <laughs> we here? What's the question? So, um, because he's trying to get a divorce now. Sure. God. Um, so, if he, my question is, if he ever he gets a divorce and then pursues me, will I give him a chance? Are is you it still, okay are for you me st- to give him a chance? Are you still with the best friend? Is he still no. your boyfriend? No? No, okay. they broke not up anymore. Ma- Martin, I have a question I want to ask you. This is unrelated, uh, but we might find an answer somewhere here. Okay. In the dude rule book, amongst us guys, Gan also, is it worse to date your best friend's ex or your best friend's little sister? Best friend's ex or I feel like the ex is, is, is the yeah, more the, off The off ex limits. Is a, kind of weighs a little bit more, I think. Mm. Yeah? It's almost so, cute to date the, the little sister. sister. Yeah. So, can this guy go out with this girl? Wait, wait, wait. When, when did you guys break up? You and the best friend? Oh, um, just last year. So, November. No, oh, November. Oh, fuck. That's like four months ago. Um, yeah? Technical. Yeah. Technical. Yeah, so four months ago. All right. Um, you know what? I don't think he's going to be wanting... I, I, I think if you guys end up having a relationship, this is going to some, be something that you guys have to keep secret for a little bit. I mean, even though... They're uh, they're no longer to, you're no longer together with the best friend. We do have a rule that us guys try to follow, and that rule is don't date the ex of mm-hmm. your best friend. It kind of sucks. Now I don't know how long that that rule lasts for uh, Martin Gann. I mean, what what is it? A year? Two years? It might. It feels like two to three years before you can probably even how, think about. Are they something. really really good friends? I mean, are they yeah, super? Yeah, but actually, um, we want. If ever he gets a divorce, he told me that he's going to take it slow, like not rush things. Because yeah, you're, if you're really good friends, then yeah, might be yeah, happy for you. You yeah, know, take it from there first. You know, yeah. Um, but, but we have a rule to follow, yeah, guys. The whole guy, I mean, yeah, the whole we have dude, a rule. You, know? you can't, you can't do that shit. Yeah, uh, we're not good at that. Men are not good at that. R- Rona, it might even be like, in my opinion. Now I don't know because I've never dated a best friend's girlfriend or anything like that. But in my opinion, it's years, man. That's a, that's a two, three year gap before I can start being interested in you. If I was, uh, if I was the uh, best friend or or the guy. Yeah, my take involved. on this. Um, since you're friends, then well, just hang out. Have be be friends. Well, he Get, wants to take it slow anyway. The guy, mm, yeah. yeah, so yeah. good. Yeah. So be but, friends. But, but, but if you it can't. goes, you, you'll know. You'll know if, yeah, if but, you have to move. A step further. Gan, Gan, you know from listening to her voice and Martin that she will have sex with this guy yeah. the day he arrives <laughs> if you guys are hidden away, I right? Know. Rona? Yeah. So yeah. you're the one so who's supposed to be taking so it slow, you can't, not him. You can't get caught. Yeah, yeah. You can't get yeah. caught. Right? But no, no, no. Actually, because I, I don't know because I'm con- also concerned with the girl, with the, his wife, because I'm also a girl. I, I, I mean... You no, know. no, no, don't worry. When they get divorced and she's going to be in the States, he's fine when he comes back here. He's clean picking. It's more the best friend you got to worry mm-hmm. about, all right? Oh. All right, Ron, take okay. it, take it slow. It's not like the movies. It's not yeah, like the movies. No. Take it slow, love. Uh-huh. All right? Uh-huh. Have a good day. Have fun. Okay. All right. How's okay. law school? How's law school going? Yeah? Happy Valentine's. Okay. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> Medical school law. She sounded like she had that thing about her, you know? Very studious sounding woman. Taking a break back after this. It's Valentine's night on this Monday. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659 6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Dude, what about my model? Wait. Yun ang pwede. Uy, si Sam Pinto. Pwede nga. Uy, San Miglite. Pwede. Low calorie San Miglite. Magaan sa chan. Para kung maba ang inuman. Pwede makijoin friends ko. Pwede. Pwede. You know guys, when you make momol with your girl, you caress each other's face. You're so much in love, but the thing is, her hand sticks to your cheek. Kadire. Nakakadire. Guys, every moment counts. Use Bella Men Toner, freshen up your skin, and be ready for that moment.
659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Sandmade Light. And powered by Smart Pro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. It's not surprising here on this uh, Valentine's night with Martin Yavera on the program that our phone lines are probably impossible to get through. Um, but uh, yes, we do want to say a million thank yous to you, Martha, for being oh, here. Oh, my pleasure. For bringing a lot of humor to the show. I'm sure everyone is listening and is enjoying it very much. This is the Good Times with Mel podcast brought to you by San Mig Light, the 100 calorie light beer here in the Philippines. Sexy, sexy bottle. And it makes you good looking, too, because you don't get all bloated and stuff like that. It's a light <laughs> beer, it's nice stuff. Um, also, this is powered by Smart Bro. Phone number 659-6969, caller of the night, which Martin will uh, ordain, will either win a trip for two to Japan or a BlackBerry 9780, as well as some other Sandmig Light uh, premium gift items. Martin, you're going to kill me for this one. Okay. Shit. Probably. Yeah. Earlier today, we were talking about how much I adored a uh, kahit isang saglit. Can okay. you please, please? Are you serious? Fucking A, man. I've never, I've, I haven't seen you sing it live in a long time. I, you're, I know I, I know singers hate to be put on the spot. I was with Leia Salong last night. Then I'm like, so Leia, <clears throat> how about throw me a tune? <laughs> just, Seriously? Just the chorus. Babe. Did she I, do it? No. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, because like, you're a DJ. What do you do? I ask you to DJ in front of me? I'm like, good point. But come on, man. <laughs> just What's, the chorus. It's not an easy, it's not easy. Would you? Do you, you know I, how but, it goes? Oh, he's already at the ad lib. Look at that. That's good. That's a f- that's good. But it's just such a good down. It's kahit sandali, kahit isang saglit, mayakap ka. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. He's singing. Oh, thank you. And thank you. It's a one. <laughs> I only hear him <laughs> sing in my CD. Really? Yeah. yeah that, you wow. are awesome, buddy. Uh-huh. Shit. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'm Definitely. glad you like that song. Dude, it's, it's so, I, it, I didn't know it was so tragic. But, it's a but tragic it's, love song. Like, I like oh Ikao God. better. Than That's a beautiful song. Wow. What? Ikao lang mamahali? No, That's Ikao. A, it's Ikao. the Ikao that, that, that Sharon actually says. Uh, oh, but I like Ikao, Ikao lang mamahali as well. So oh, what? Man. Yeah. But Those are the two people. songs that when I'm abroad with 400 guys, so they're, they're amongst, I, I'd say, okay, not the two. I'd say about, I have five to seven songs that I show off. Kite the songs get always there, man. Really? Do yeah. they like it? I mean, they love it, but even though they don't understand. Because, uh, like, when I'm on foreign cabs, I'm like, God, I don't want to hear other people's music. But for some reason, they appreciate it. It's awesome, man. Yeah, oh, pe- great, but people you. now celebrating Valentine's Day are singing "Be My Lady." Oh, for sure, the men yeah. are <laughs> yeah. scoring with that one. Yeah. All right, one hundred. Let's go to the phone six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. Martin is here. We'll also take your international calls in just a little bit. Let's go to cell phones because it's uh, James, you're twenty four, Quezon City. What's up? Yeah, sorry. Hi, you're on the show. What's, how can we help you? Yes, uh, it's Mo. Yes, go. Good evening, Mo. Hi, what's up? Yeah, I just want to have uh, advice from you, Mo. Just, um, I have an unfinished business with one of my office mates. All right. Uh, it was started when I joined this company uh, around 2007 and met this girl who already committed with an uh, eight years relationship with her boyfriend. Sure. Then apparently, we became close. Uh, in short, we had an affair that uh, lasted for about last year, from 2007 to last year. So, wait, wait, really are you are you in a relationship as well? Uh, right now, no, no. So you were just cheating. You were you were kind of the third party of their relationship. Wow. All right. All right. Continue. Um, it ends when she got pregnant and got married to her boyfriend. You you got her pregnant? The boyfriend. So, uh, you don't know. Boyfriend, yeah. Okay. You, are, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's the question? And then, uh, but the problem is, like, uh, we are still sweet with each other. She would ask, sometimes she bought something to me in exchange of sweet messages during uh, times and the text coming together. Okay, mm. so what's the question? Then, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, recently we decided to set apart and move on. Kaya lang, uh, move, uh, ano yung gagawin ko? Kasi, like, uh, nakikita kami sa office from time to time. Like, before nakita kami, then... We snub each other, even though Valentine's. Uh, pero na dun parin yung yung alam yun na parang you're uh, still uh, concerned to her. Yeah. Pero yeah. Well, hey, of course. Listen, uh, you got into a an affair with someone who's in a relationship, and you work with that person. That's that's very difficult to pull off. Now that happens a lot in our business, Martin. Oh, yeah. But 
in a in a closed an enclosed office where you have to see that person eight hours a day and all that stuff, it's of course it's going to be very difficult. But that's what you yeah. got into. I mean, that's that's the swimming pool you tend, you decided to jump into, and and there's there, it's it's dangerous. Then uh, sometimes I ask her a question like, uh, if she's happy, then she said, uh, "Okay, lang." Then what if kung ako yung let's say na pangasawa niya, then she said. Yeah, well, stop asking. Stop answering those fucking questions, yeah, James. Because yeah. there's no, if there's nothing. You're gonna, you're not gonna get anything out of it. That's the problem with you. If you want yeah. to move on, stop asking those questions. Don't, don't do. You know, don't talk to her that way. Be, be, be professional. Be civil. With she her. might be just telling you what you want to yeah. hear. You know, which yeah. is the worst. Yeah. If and you, and if you really want to move on, don't do that. And why are you asking those things, James? You, you still want to hold on to this girl, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah yeah, but you understand that nothing's going to come of, come of it. I mean, she's she, yeah. You guys had your affair, and maybe you're trying to hold on to something that's not going to last very long because she's still committed to this other guy. She's about to have a baby. D- there's no more room for you here, James. You're 24. Stop wasting uh, time. The problem is uh, she she sent sweet messages like uh, you know. Yeah, but of- okay, it doesn't matter. See, that's a problem with some guys. You know, if a girl goes up to them and and and, and throws something sweet their way or sexy their way, they they can't stop themselves Jace you have to stop yourself or this will prolong constantly yeah, right? you're just and, making it hard for and yourself and back to my oh, but back to the story I always tell all you guys is you're gonna get your ass kicked one day <laughs> your boyfriend's gonna find out he's gonna come over there he's gonna beat your ass maybe he should take that sweet text and change the tone <laughs> make it comedy or something you know really, really. All right, no, no, that's a very good point no, really. alright James give me the sweetest text she sent you recently uh, she missed me Martin. Oh, you have to say like a Martian. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, not so fun anymore, right? It doesn't right? feel so good to me. I don't know. I like you. I times that she called me at, uh, around 2 a.m., then we talk each other around um, for about three hours. Okay. Well, James, where's the husband? Oh, my God. James, mm, you're, you're three, just, yeah, yeah you're, you're trying to prolong this, and you're trying to hold on to something yeah. that's not going to hold on to you eventually, and in the process, one day, you're going to get your ass kicked solid. All right, he's gonna go there with. A you know, it's much better if you don't hope, don't put on hope, and then something good happens in in your favor, rather than hoping and then it doesn't come. Or you can hope, just hope to to your fucking self. Yeah, don't, don't go up there and bother her. A lot of fish out there. You moving on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just want to hear some piece of advice from you. Okay, here's my advice: you're a stupid ass, and stop it. All right. <laughs> Go be happy. Right, James. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. We're hanging up on you. Come on now. Be smart. A, you're uh, 19 years old, and you're uh, from Pasig. You've been yeah. on hold for, God, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. I'm sorry about that. What's up? <laughs> it's okay. What do you got? Um, do I tell you everything? No. You do the two-sentence version. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, I'm going to tell him about the situation I'm in right now. Ooh, you got Ooh, the low uh, voice. Could you put some reverb on the high yeah. testosterone? Yep. Yeah. And you have high testosterone. High You're a sexual beast, right? <laughs> Be honest. Is it that time again. Yeah. And, right? Uh, I guess. Yeah, you sex monster. Ooh. Martin, we have yeah. to explain this to all our guests. Girls with the low voice, high testosterone levels, high testosterone levels, sexual beast. Every girl who calls a show is like, hi, Mo. I'm like, the first thing I say, even if you're 15, 16, 19, 47, 50, we, we've had it from all, all age uh, groups <laughs> call the show. My first question is, you, you like fucking, right? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you're 19. <laughs> What's going on, baby? So young. Um, so I've been in this wonderful relationship with this girl for almost lesbian. Three oh, years. Yeah. Changes the rules Let's completely. Hold on, I gotta introduce you to our lesbian producer, <laughs> Pat. Friends. Pat. Hey, vegetarian alert. <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job, A. Hey, we have so much in common. We like girls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, A. What, so what's the question? I'm sorry. We always mess around with the vet, with the liquors here on the show. What's up? So we we just broke up last December, mm-hmm. and her reason for breaking up is because she wanted to explore, sure. um, to know what it's like to be without me. Sure. And because she wanted, uh, she doesn't want to be committed anymore since there are already so many things going on in her life. Okay, and then? I don't know. She keeps on telling me to go now, but then I'm confused because, to be honest, we were just together earlier. All right. Did you guys and have sex? Of yeah. yeah. All right. And um, then she still tells me that she has feelings for me and she says things like she doesn't want me to leave. 
Yeah, she probably does. I mean, she probably does have feelings for you because a lot of people who break up tend to get back together and have sex a few more times and stuff. Mm. It doesn't mean that your relationship is going to be um, any stronger or that you guys are going to find yourselves in a, in a in a relationship again. You know, um, you guys are young. You're 19. She's probably in your age as well. You you have a relationship that has run its course a lot. That happens a lot at your age, and yeah. you just you just have to move on uh, away from that person and get onto the next relationship. But you know, it's normal that people get together after a few months of breaking up, have sex again because you know they 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 long for that person or that 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 person is always relied upon for for activities like this. And that's what, that you know. It's just it it makes it worse the breakup, but yeah. it does happen rather often. Uh, a and you know you want to hold on to this girl, but t- I'm telling you, this is over. It's over. Yes, my love, it's over. And the key, the key word there is young. You're still young, even yeah. if it's over. Even if it, if there's still hope, um, you're young. You know, um, there's lots of things coming your way. It, now, now it can. You guys can might get back together down the line a few months from now. Mm-hmm. If she kind of sees what's out there, doesn't like it, and then tenth, you know, will want to come back to you. But she already told you, I, yeah. I want to be alone. I not alone. I want to explore. I want to find myself. All of those stuff. Those are all classic lines that young people say mm-hmm. when but they're then, breaking up. But then she told me one time that, um, I could wait for a year. Yeah, but and that's not fair. Be, that's not fair. Because what is she gonna do? Yeah, thing? I'm gonna wait for you. Yeah, I want you to wait for a year while I go out and bang other chicks. <laughs> like, and what yeah, do you do for that within really? that year? You don't what want do you her do? Back you, after you're that. just you're just what lonely for that year yeah, and miserable while yeah. she's out there having oh, sex with every That shouldn't female. be the driving force anyway. It shouldn't be right. just because the sex is good. Mm. You have a relationship. No. Yeah, but she's not that type of. Girl and you know what? You're just trying to she, convince yeah. yourself. To she keep, just to told stay you she wanted to be outside of you. Mm-hmm. All right? Just that alone is Listen, already. I got a lesbian that I want to introduce you to. <laughs> Pat? Yes? Listen, your girlfriend's out of the country, right? Yes. Yeah, a long you know distance. Skype? I'm oh. sorry? No, she's yeah. not the one Skype. You know, you guys, you guys oh. no, will make no, a cute no, couple. You guys will make a cute couple. I already know it, all right? <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah, sure. All right, thanks, A, for the call. Move on, baby. Move on. Move on. All right. Heidi, you've uh, been on hold for about half an hour. What's up? Hello. Hi, hi dear. What's going on? Martha Nivera on the show. Heidi. Hi. How can we help you? Um, uh, I have a question. Sure. Regarding my love life. Go. Yeah. Um, I have my boyfriend with me for almost 10 years. Uh, but last year, um, nagkahiwalay kami. Medyo rocky relationship namin. Um, nasa Dubai siya, nandito ako sa Pilipinas. Tapos... Tapos Nagkahiwalay kami, tapos um, meron siyang niligawan. So ako, nandito ako sa Pilipinas, knowing na wala siyang niligawan, gano'n, gano'n. Tapos, umuwi siya last year, um, April. Pagdating niya dito, wala siyang sinasabi na meron siyang girlfriend, gano'n. After one week, umamin siya na may girlfriend siya, nandito rin sa Pilipinas. Okay, all right, all right. So what's the question? Um, question. Ngayon, kami na, kumbaga, nagkabalik ka kami, nagkahiwalay sila niyong girlfriend niya. Mm. Na yun. God, I'm bored. Oh, mm-hmm. Heidi, I'm bored. You've been home for 40 minutes. Come on, sayang. I'm freaking losing my mind here. All right. Tapos, ngayon, nag, ano, yung ex niyang yon, kaibigan ngayon, yung circle of friends namin, parang ganun. Uh-oh. May one of circle of friends kami. Ngayon, kinaibigan niya yung mga yon. Ah, okay. So, he took away the friends. Yeah. All right. Well, that that's that's what happens. Uh, it, it's not like he takes them away; they choose him over you at the same time. Yes, Heidi. I think so. Now, if they were if they were really good friends, they'll be that's able to right. find a way to 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 try to accommodate uh, you know being in the presence of both of you. But you know, realistically, they probably just wanted to hang out with him a little bit more. And I'm not surprised because <laughs> you're a ball of energy. It's exploding. You're a good time. No, no, Heidi. I'm just what making fun. What time is it there? Yeah, I'm just making fun of you, Heidi. Uh, they, yeah. Listen, it, re- realistically, they just chose to hang out with him more, and and that's fine. It, it happens. happens. That's gonna happen. There's yeah. a lot of people. It's hard because um, sobrang pagkisama ko dun sa mga tao na yon. Tapos alam nila yung nangyari. Nagiiyak ako. Tapos ngayon, kaibigan nila yun. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So, let's ask Martin here. Martin, in breakups, who keeps the friends? Have you lost friends in the process? Have you taken friends from the ex? I mean... I think when you... During a breakup, you know who your real friends are. Mm-hmm. So, I think what she's going through now is that with all that's happened, she kind of hoped that they would stay on her side. Right. That's the hard part about being friends with your friends who broke up. Yeah. Where do you put your loyalty, you know? That's right. 
So if they're really your friends, they won't put loyalty. I mean, they'll be friends to both of you. It should be mm-hmm. that way, right? And then if they, if as you as you've noticed, they went and had and went ahead and be friends with your uh, with your ex, well, then you know that that just shows volumes of how, how they uh, how they are as friends. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's it's you cut it as a loss. It sucks. It hurts. It also sometimes, Mo, when you talk too much about really your hurt. problem, yeah, when you're like, oh, you know, and you start crying that's all right. the time. That's right. That's or right. We'd rather go with a party animal than this oh, this yeah. depressed yeah. person, right. you know. So try not. Yeah, that that's very very good advice. Try to just uh, not belly ache all the yeah, time. Don't, you know? don't, don't be the. I know it's hard. It's really hard. It's all you want to talk about mm-hmm. when you're yeah. when you have been broken but, up. But when you, but but when people get together, they they want to have fun. Exactly. They don't want to listen to anybody. Maybe that's why they're over there. Maybe it's more fun there. Yeah. I see. So have fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun right now, but a uh, lot of people talking. Don't be too the one much. who brings the bad trip vibes in the barcade, you know. So all right. All right. So, yeah. Thanks, doll. Thanks Appreciate for the advice. It. No worries. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Let's go to Mark, who's in Singapore. Mark, is that you? Uh, oh, Singapore. Yeah, Mark. 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 Hello. Are we waiting? Yes, hi, this is Mark. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. You, you got a question. What's up? Mark. Mark from Singapore. Hello? Yes, Mark, you have a problem. Don't listen to the computer. Oops, sorry, we lost him. We'll go back to Mark a little bit later. He want oh actually here, let's <laughs> try to get Skype. Yeah, Skype. let's use let's get the, let's get the Skype working in. He wants to know if farting during sex is normal. Who? On farting? his part. <laughs> on his part which is mm, probably not very Give cool. up the burritos, dude. <laughs> We'll go to him a little bit later. One more call, and we got to take a commercial break again. Let's go to Roy, you're 30. Roy, you're in Makati. What's up? Yeah, hi, Roy. Um, this is Roy. Um, yeah. Oh. yeah, go. Good evening. Yeah, uh, I just want to say uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of also your morning show. Great, uh, thank good. you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's um, Happy V-Day today. That's and, right. Uh, um, I just thought of calling and, uh, you know, Sharing my uh, my feelings about uh, my wife uh, f- forgetting that it's it's V Day today. Yeah. Okay, so your wife your wife forgot that it's Valentine's Day and you're a little upset about it. Uh, a little bit, yeah. All right. So, yeah. w- what do you want to do about this? Uh, I, I was actually I'm actually at work uh, right now, and uh, I just went down to you know try and and maybe uh, call the show. Luckily, I, I got lucky to to got in, and uh, is it know, a big I, deal? Is it a big deal, Martin? Is it a big deal, Gan? If your uh, girlfriend slash wife, whatever, forgets Valentine's Day for it's, you, it's always us who forgets. I don't. Yeah. This is the first time I heard the, the yeah, wife or the yeah. girlfriend yeah. forgot. So, is it a big deal for you since uh, just traditionally we're not supposed to care so much about this holiday? Well, it would be a big deal, I think, for yeah. anybody. Really, I'd, I'd be pretty upset about it. Yeah. Are, yeah. Are, are you guys home together right now, or are you out? Is she out of the country, or? No, um, actually, she was at home. She she's at home with my with my daughter, and uh, I was at work right now. But how are you guys? Um, as other than being being Valentine's Day, how are you guys on a regular day? Are are you mean are you are you, are you guys are you in a good relationship? Yeah, good healthy you have relationship, a good relationship right relationship? now. Yeah, yeah, yes, we are. Yeah, actually, uh, it's just that maybe you know, um, a lot of things are happening. <laughs> Already, so uh, you know priorities. Right, right, right. So I don't right. Think what, it's a what did you What did you get her for Valentine's? Today, yeah. actually, I just you know gave her a big hug. And, okay, uh, you see, so technically, you probably no almost, she yeah, forgot. yeah, you you probably forgot a Valentine's Day as well. You know, in your own little way. Did Maybe you forget? Was, no, not actually. So uh, I was you know uh, trying to look for a sign from her. Hmm. If if she remembers, did you greet her first, or were you just waiting for her to greet you, Happy Valentine's? Yeah. So. Who greeted who first? Not, not really. It's actually she. She knows that I'm sometimes like that because there were instances before that um, if if there are if there would be an occasion, I would you know uh, pretend that I don't remember. But at the end of the day, maybe before the end of the day, I would you know uh, say it to her, uh, tell it to her. Happy anniversary. Uh, there was this instance where 
uh, she she forgot her anniversary, so it was actually two years ago. Yeah, Roy. And she about seventy years old. How old yeah, is she? <laughs> Roy, maybe she's just not that type of girl. Like yeah. I, I've had, her, I've had a girlfriend who was not the type to remember anniversary dates and and all of these things. Like Valentine's wasn't a really a big deal to her as it, as it was for me. I mean, I, I'm a little bit more of a romantic. At least I like yeah. the mushy shit and all that stuff. I am also a romantic yeah. like you. Yeah, well, actually, and, that, and, you know. Before when we when we before we we got married, he, she is not like that. I know she's a very practical girl and all that, but uh, the the dates are actually you know. It's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, there, there are girls who are like that. There are people who are like that. Where dates like these 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 uh, yeah, Valentines uh-huh. and stuff. It really just superficial mm. nonsense. Yeah. You should know that I love you. You should really? know that every day is the same. I, I love you. This I love you today as much as I love you tomorrow. I don't need a holiday to remind me of exactly. that. You know, there are people yeah. who who share that. Sentiment. I'm not one of those guys. I yeah. like the mushiness and all of that stuff. And it doesn't mean she loves you any less. It doesn't mean you should feel bad about it. At least she says thank you for your gifts and stuff like that. And you should be fine. And 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 if she's not doing it, like for example, if she doesn't remember these these things, um, doesn't mean that you have to forget about it. Also, you know. Yeah, um, you sound sad. That's why. I, yeah. I right. see an opening here. I see yeah. someone who can go out there now, make dinner. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Candlelight yeah. outside in the, oh. in the balcony. She's going, what is this for? I told you, I'm not hungry. You go, right. happy Valentine's, there. sweetheart. Yeah, maybe the reason why I'm feeling this way is that uh, we're, we're, we're going through tough times. And, uh, you know, and that's, uh, that's the reason I've, I... Maybe I she's going through there. tough times, too. This is the way her, her way of stepping mm-hmm. out of the tough times. You know, Now you got the reminder, we got to step back into it. Yeah. This is what it's mm-hmm. all about. It doesn't have to be February 14. Mm-hmm. That's right. And if you <laughs> forgot, you forgot. Now we have to have violent sex. <laughs> How's the sex well, life going? February 14, right? How's the sex life going? <laughs> it's only Sorry? February 14 now in the, in the States, so you can say, how was an American time? <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how's your sex life now, Roy, with your wife? Um, we're good, actually. Yeah. You're good? Okay, well, then that's a good I'm sign. Not- that's a good sign. Okay. All right, all right. She's probably just not the type who's all mushy, mushy, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, don't right? worry about the, the the date thing. Yeah, I, I myself, I I keep on forgetting my son's birthday. Oh, okay, that's you worse. Asshole. Out of the room you now. I know, yeah, I know. You're a doctor. I know. <laughs> Take two of these and don't call me in the morning. <laughs> right. Thanks for the call, buddy. Don't worry about it, Roy. But I, I, I'm here with Roy, though. Roy, touch I mean, my hand again. It's okay. I, I'm here with Roy. Where? I didn't touch you. I touch you. See. Where, where if, if she doesn't share my enthusiasm for romance, I'll feel bad about it, mm-hmm. right? I, I, Martha, are you, are you, I, mean, I know oh, you're, yes. you're a crooner, but I mean, are you a romantic guy? Very. And, I'm really corny when it yeah, comes but, to those but things. But if you're, if, you're, if you're okay, your relationship is okay, then, uh, you know, um, these mushy things doesn't matter as long as you're, you have a stable... It matters, Gan. It matters to you. Like, it matters if, if, to yeah, this guy. It, it fucking Roy, matters yeah. to me. Like, if, yeah. if, if, for example... I Mo, did, you're mushy, you know. You're I know, tweets, that's what I'm saying. Just like this good. guy, just like Martin. To mushy you, to you, it doesn't mushier. matter. But to me, it matters. Like, I if, love mushy. If somebody doesn't say thank you, if my, my girlfriend Mushy's or my wife, wife doesn't say thank you for something that I've done, I feel bad. I'm like, oh, come on. I, I put a lot of hard work into this. Then you can give them the whole guilt trip thing. Oh. Yes. And then then back works. to the violence. sex. The, okay. the, <laughs> we're back to the violence. sex. <laughs> All right. One more call and then we're going to take a break. Flying. And then after that, we're going to find out. Well, you know, we still have a few minutes and stuff like that. But we're going to have to get closer to, to uh, asking Martin who he thinks caller of the night is. Martin, try to remember. I have a couple here. already. You have a couple? Good. Yes, Excellent. Sir. Carlo, you're from Bataan. You're calling from a cell phone. What's up? Hello. Yes, Carlo. Hello, DJ Oh, hello, mm. sister. Carlo. <laughs> what, what's going on? What's going Dream on? The day. Hello. Why, why do they have to have a lisp? You know? um, <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> you know what it is. Here, I'll tell you where the lisp, where yeah. the gays go. What, they, what's they, the they're, 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 their tongue takes a pounding <laughs> from the BJs. <laughs> Oh, okay, B- you know what I'm saying? Jays, not the so that's, DJs. that's why it gets swollen. They're taking. Right they're now. you're the doctor, Gan. If my tongue was getting a pounding <laughs> from a penis on a nightly basis, and a, a, a throbbing erect penis, won't I have a lisp of some sort? Right? Oh, won't I, I have like a visual? Won't I, I like detach visual. like shit in my tongue? It would get swollen. Oh, yeah. right. But won't I lose my ability to like to 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 to, to well, use it very well? Yeah. If your big if if your tongue is swollen, then and this is for swollen. him, it's radio, so he has to have the lisp. That's right. We won't know where he's. That's right. Persuasion is. Are you and a big mushy? Uh, you a big BJ guy, Carlo? I'm sorry. You like the BJ's? <laughs> no, actually. Yeah, yeah. It hurts. I'm, I'm only British. I'm yeah. not gay. All right. What's what's up, Carlo? <laughs> you have a question. What's going on? Well, actually, my question is, um, I have a best friend, um, which I haven't been communicating with for two, for four years. All right. And. 
and we meet each other again with that exchange numbers, um, bonding and bonding and bonding until now. But I can I can feel that I have some extraordinary feelings for him. Okay, is he gay? No, he's straight. He's straight. All right, so you're falling in love with your straight best friend. All right, and uh, you do you are aware that the chances of you guys having any kind of relationship are uh, next to nil because he's straight. No, actually, he he already told me that he has some feeling for me, but he's not sure about it yet. Mm. Okay, so he's kind of gay at the same time. Curiosity, <laughs> Martin, as a dude, as a dude, dude, as uh-huh. as we are, Gan's a little gay, so we're gonna leave him outside of this question. <laughs> um, if you are a straight guy, I don't care. If you are my very best friend, I laugh at all your jokes. Or like you, Martin, exactly you. For example, I think you're awesome. I think you're a great singer. I think you're a fucking great conversationalist. I think you 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 light up a room and you're energetic and you command the crowd. You can sell out Araneta, no problem, Martin. You can do that anytime. Those are all attractive qualities for a girl to 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 kind of be attracted to you. There's no way in fucking hell would I want to make out with you ever. <laughs> So, well, that's the good news. No, but but right, and that goes for all guys, right? I don't. I care think so. How yeah, awesome yeah. you are. Maybe the guy is curious because for, for for all you know, your caller right now yeah. is sweeter than any girl. You know, it doesn't matter though. It, it should not make me. No, it should it not should. sway yeah. me. But Girls, maybe. Maybe. He's, maybe he's taking it the wrong way. Maybe the, the the friend, yeah, the, the dude friend, is probably saying things to him, and he's hearing it a different way. Ah, okay. Maybe he's yeah. getting here. Okay. Here are my problems. Carlo, you know, most people who are in the gay persuasion know. Uh, life and love through, from both sides. The That's girl right. And the That's guy. Right. So maybe he's giving girl advice. Yeah. And he's saying, yeah, "I love you, man. Thanks for that." But right. And you hear, I "What love he's you. hearing? Yeah. I love you. I wanna, Zip it down." Oh, you know. Yeah, I, like I, I want to. Yeah. I want to dent your mouth. More, more. More. <laughs> it's not. I love you. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's what <laughs> Carlo, are you are you living in some sort of fantasy world where he's being nice to you and you're interpreting it as he likes you? And then, well, he's, he's always being um, kind to me. Kind, yeah, yeah. kind you is know? different yeah. from from kind and from being me attracted to to maybe even possibly have a relationship with yeah. you. Two different things, Carlo. You sound yeah. like a really nice guy, Carlo. <laughs> Thread carefully, or else he might. Punch Are you giving him face. advice? Is he give, is he asking you girl advice? If you were a girl, would you blah 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 blah? Are you doing that? No, not no. at all. What do you guys talk about? Not the Lakers. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Well. That power well, is all so awesome. <laughs> so, so. Well, it's some kind of um, when when we are together, we kind of forget. Unlike where we are young, you know that. But um, there is a big attraction between us. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, maybe he is, maybe he is it, gay. You know, not totally. Carlo, I think um, okay. If you okay, Carlo, I know you're hoping that he's gay. I, 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 we all know that. We all know that in the room here. That like Martin brought up a huge point where you might be mistaken. You, might, you there might be a mistaken type of a feeling here where, where he's very kind and you think he's interested in you. That might be a mistake. It might not be. I think you wait it out. You find out. You never know. One day you guys might take this bonding moments that you're talking about sure. and, and let it blossom to a relationship. I'm just saying most guys, 99% of guys, it doesn't matter how great your relationship is with each other as bros or as gay guy and straight guy, they never sway. They're not like women. Women sometimes are, are in love not with the gender. They're not genderly specific in love with someone. They're in love with the per- with the feeling that this person makes me exactly. feel, right? Mm-hmm. That does not happen with guys, Carlo. Guys more physical. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or we just don't. I mean, even if we think no. you're great, I'm not going to make out with you ever. I have a lot of gay friends I hug and kiss all the time. Sure. I treat them, I kiss them, I respect them the way I would a woman, an right. older woman, a respected woman, not right. your girlfriend. Mm. So maybe he's doing that to to this, to Carlo, and Carlo's and, taking it a little bit yeah. differently. Misinterpret, all right, Carl? Don't maybe. misinterpret. And maybe, you're 20, Carlo. you're 20, you're a little young, all right? So you might, you yeah, might yeah, not yeah. know, you know. What, but stay what, friends. What, what, stay friends. All right? All right. All right. Thanks, man. Bye, bye. Jello, you're you're 17, but we're gonna put you on hold. I know you've been on hold for a long time. You're calling from a cell phone. You still there, Jello? Yeah, he's been on hold for a long time there. So we'll we'll get him back, but we got to take a commercial break here, and we'll have everyone call him back. He's got a good question. All right, let's take well, just a few minutes here, and then Martin, when we come back. It's time for a little uh, caller of the night action. So okay. try to remember. We'll find out who can give away this trip to Japan to as well as a Blackberry 9780 we'll also take another call we'll try to get to Mark from Singapore and his question all of that after this we'll return after this commercial break 
Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Dude, what about my model? Good. You don't point it. Uy, si Sam Pinto. Puede nga. Uy, San Meg Light. Pwede. Low calorie San Miguel Light. Magaan sa chan para humaba ang inuman. Pwede maki-join friends ko. Pwede. Guys, we're picky with our food, we're picky with our cars, and most definitely we're picky with our women. So why not start being picky with your own face wash and stop using hers? Try Bello Men Oil Control Face Wash. Since we men tend to be a little bit oilier, we need one that's made for us. Trust me, just like our women, if you pick the right one, the relationship will last forever. New Bellow Men. Hi, this is Lady Gaga, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine Genius. Good Times with Mo. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by San Mig Light. And powered by SmartBro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here is the podcast. It is Valentine's night here in Manila, a Monday. Of course, Martin Rivera is our guest. Thank you again, Martin, for Thank being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Hope you're having a good time. Yes, I am. Doc and Professor. Yeah, he's, he's been having a good time playing with this. The yeah, these penis. two little, uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the penis uh, thing. Okay. <laughs> the headphone jack. Oh, headphone yeah. jack, sorry. <laughs> you call it what you want. <laughs> That's what he's been doing the whole time. Right? No, it's cool. I mean, one is Filipino, one is black. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, you just came from a successful concert last night with Sarah Good Ronimo. segue. Look at that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anything else? Any other big uh, shows you're, uh, that you're coming up with or concerts? I know you have a regular program though, right? You're on ASAP, right? Aren't when you? I'm in town, yeah, I do ASAP. Yeah. That's right. Um, uh, but the, the biggest show I had so far is the one I did uh, two nights ago with Sarah. The whole generation gap thing really brought a lot of people mm. to the Aronetta. We were actually sold out to the, to the rafters. It was fun. It's nice working with her. She's a great singer. You don't get nervous, though, do you? Very. No way. Especially now, because you don't know, okay, who's going to come? Oh, Sarah's okay. fans or their parents? You know, luckily, they all came. So <laughs> not only that, but also learning new tunes. I was doing Bruno Mars. I was doing all of these Wow. New, can yeah. you imagine me doing all these new songs? Dude, um, has any of your shows ever flopped? Yeah, big time. And what is that? Big what is that, time. Remember when the Eraserheads came out and yeah. all the band uh-huh. era? Yeah. Uh, the, they, uh, they were going to their shows. I had a show one time in Ateneo and they were in Marino. Oh, shit, next door. <laughs> right, right next door. I only had like 200 people in that big stadium of yours, you know? Uh, but it, I wouldn't call it a flop. Only be, business-wise, maybe it was yeah. a flop, but it's the best show of my, my career. No way. The okay. best performance All right. ever. All right. So it, it, even though you go out there, and it's not the, the amount of people that you'd like to see. No. And I always tell singers that. It's not, it, success is not measured by numbers as far mm. as the artist. Sure. You go out there, you kick ass. Even if it's four people or 40,000 people, same show. Palaging performance. Has so. to be. Otherwise, you're not a performer. And right? what about confidence? Uh, you know you're a badass singer. Me? Yeah. Uh... I hate listening to myself, so that's where it's first okay. confidence okay. that's out the window. Because okay. I like to perform, I love to sing, I have the I love the the reaction of the people, the immediate sure. reaction. But I hate playing my CDs. I don't like listening to the radio. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't like uh, Saglit. I can't listen yeah. to it. Uh, Be my lady. Forget it if I hear it. <laughs> I, I was 19 when I when I recorded Be my lady. So I was like, God, my voice is so nasal and right. I wasn't hitting so it's not like swing. you're on stage and then you say I'm, I'm Martin Rivera and these people will love me no never never I'm always I'm Martin Rivera I hope you like mm-hmm. me and it's you know you can't please them all Mom. but you but you still know you're awesome kind of right I mean no, like they're, not even. They're really not, if I knew I was wow. awesome I wouldn't even say yes to like, anything you know I right, just right, go right. sit on my little no, throne okay. there and just you know point my middle finger to everybody but no and especially here in the Philippines, yeah. no, you can't afford. We we don't make the millions of dollars, right, 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 like right. the Tom Cruise or the Bruno mm-hmm. Mars. These guys make millions, so they can point their finger whatever they want. What don't you like about show business? Uh, the plastic, the mm-hmm. gossip, the uh, I guess maybe having to live in a fishbowl kind yeah. of a thing. My whole life, everyone knows. Right, that's right. why I'm so intrigued with your questions because it's not my my, my career. Oh, okay. Right, it's I mean these questions about sex and I mean wow, <laughs> you usually you keep this to yourselves, right? You don't you don't yeah. You know. 
Okay. Yeah, but everything else you need to know, everyone already knows. Gotcha. Because I'm, I'm in a fishbowl. Yeah. Boy. Lots of sacrifice. No. But, 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 oh, oh, sorry, and this is the last. I mean, but when you, I mean, when you, when you and Pops were, were, were together and the whole superstardom, not superstardom as personalities, but the superstardom marriage, were there times where you guys look at each other and go, shit, man, this is tough. This is no. to just be. We look at, us, at at that then yeah. and say, no, shit, why do we even do that? Wow. Why do we ever let anyone into our mm-hmm. living room, into our bedroom? Right. Because it ruined our marriage. Yeah. We had a great one. and we had, More than anything, we had a great friendship. Yeah. And I think that's why we're still mm-hmm. friends now. And she's cool, man. She's yeah, the coolest. Yeah, she's I cool. thought you liked her at one time. And weren't you like dating her or something? No, no, no way. No that's way. what I heard. No, 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 no. no. I'll tell you that. We were in Asa did? together. No? We after after Asa, we'd go uh, to get a bite, but it wasn't me, man. I was kind of helping bridge, you know, uh, some of the hunk dudes. You ass. <laughs> no, I'm not helping. Aren't you <laughs> my friend? Am I not here on Valentine's? You weren't around, bro. And you just stopped like, being the back like yeah. that. No, it was it was like, hey, so Asshole which <laughs> Mo, why don't you put a good word in for me? I was like, okay, I had a girlfriend at times. So I was like, all right, so uh, hey, you know, um. <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> Carlos said, Why did you give all of them? I uh, said that they kind of liked you. Um, yeah, so that's exactly what it was. Well, it's hard not to like Pop. She's she's a hot woman. Yeah, yeah and she's, she's cool. a great, great person too. So, all right, that's... I wouldn't blame you, my friend. No, no, no. it was all. It was, it was all. <laughs> but yeah, showbiz ruined our marriage. I mean, I can't say it's my just being unfaithful, but mm-hmm. also showbiz. Gotcha. Okay. Let's okay. go to the phones. We got a ton of phone calls. We had the last bunch here, uh, Martha. If we can go through them quickly, sure. so we can get you out of here. I know it's pretty late. Let's do Tina here. This is a little serious. Uh, Tina, you're 18. Um, unfortunate question here, but nevertheless, real life. So let's do it. What's mm-hmm. up? What's going on? Okay, so. Um, oh, I'm glad so you're I, happy about it. Then okay, I, I, thought, I was expecting tears. You know, I thought she was crying. I thought it was. Like, no, 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 because like, I kind of got over it because by the end of like. This afternoon, because that all happened this morning, well, and this afternoon I got all fast. like really killed with this guy that I saw, so it kind of got. Oh. I kind of got over it real fast. Okay, Tina, sure. Tina, I know already. See, Martin, Gan, they don't know what's going on. I'll tell you right now, you've been through some shit as a child that I don't even want to get into, <laughs> but we're gonna, uh, all right? Because here, I'll, I'll tell the guys what happened. She got molested this morning. Oh God! Yeah. As Wait, which molested slash raped uh, this morning, what? according to our notes, Tina. So for you to go, but it's okay because I'm Keely because I met this other guy in the afternoon means you went through some shit uh, growing oh, up. My so God. Tina, am I wrong or right? You got you got molested this You're morning. You're wrong. Well, because I'm pretty um, like this because I get really like over a guy like super like if. Sort of like covers any problems. I don't know. I'm shallow like that, <laughs> I guess. But then until now, I still get scared when I think about it. But like, you know, of course, I try not to think about it because, you know, nobody knows, okay? Not even a best friend knows. So, no one's you know. watching now. Yeah, it's just between you and us. Yeah. yeah. And knows and about what? Everyone who listens to you. Okay, Tina, what happened though? Tell me, tell, what happened yeah. today? Okay, so I'm shaking right now. Oh no my worries. God. No worries, love. Oh my God. Okay, so, um, like, there's this guy, right? Uh, I, I, okay, it was sort of my fault because in the first place, I shouldn't have even started talking to this guy. No, no, he, no, 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 don't say that. He just, found boy, he just found me on Facebook. Wow. Like, he was sort of stalking me. I gotta get a Facebook account. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. That's, Hold on one second. Martin, have... don't you miss being young? <laughs> yes. I didn't have Facebook when I was young. <laughs> you, I, we did it the hard did way. We, we all would, sound like this when we were 18. We must have, right? Not molesting in the morning and no, I'm okay no, no, at night. That, uh-huh. that, 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 that <laughs> clueless energy of oh, yeah, what yeah, the yeah, hell's yeah. going on in life. Like, we're sitting here okay, going, okay, okay. And yeah, the, like, oh my God. Oh, then, oh my God. Like, and then, yeah, all my friends know. And like, fucking A. Arguing with yourself? It's so hilarious. No, because, like, as much as possible, I try not to, you know, act like. That that happened. Like, Tina, I Tina, okay. As, if as, as if much as we like your spunk and all that, what the fuck happened? <laughs> okay, I'm telling you now. Okay, go. Okay, so yeah, basically he, he kind of stalked me and then he was asking me out on Valentine's Day and I was like, okay, what the heck? I'm, I'm alone anyway, so might as well just go with this guy. Oh, and then me. so I did, and okay, I went to his condo. Yeah. It was such a bad idea. No and, sleep and, anymore, I think. Yeah, and then when we went there, he said that his friends were there, so I was like, oh, okay, fine, it's good. And then yeah, it's his, his friends was on the sala place, so he said that we had to go inside his room. Mm. So I was like, oh, crap. 
Okay, and then I went in, and I was just sitting in the corner on the bed. I was mm. like, oh, crap, I hope he doesn't do anything. And then he locked the door, mm. and I was like, why did you lock the door? And I was like, oh, no, we need privacy. And then he was like, you know, complimenting me and shit. And I was started to shake a little and get really scared. Sure. And he was touching me already. He was touching my thighs. Okay. I was like, can you please not touch me? He's really giving me the creeps already. He's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And then we talked for you know, He was like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to try to make you feel all awkward. And then he just asked me stuff. And like, at first, I was like, okay, and we're starting to be all friends now. And then he started touching me again. And then I had this necklace. Like, it's a long one. Sure. And he kept getting it. So, like, he was kind of touching, you know, that mm. part yeah, right there. Yeah, because your necklace is you know next to I mean? your boobs. That's why he keeps touching yeah. your necklace. Right. Oh all right. God. Continue. Oh, yeah. And, like, he was like, By the oh, way, my that's God. My move. Let's talk about <laughs> sex. Um, so, when was your first time? And then I said, no, I'm sorry. I'm a virgin. I'm a Christian. I believe in the whole... After marriage things, so I'm really sorry. And he was like, oh, dude, That's oh, she's sure, really sure, turning on. Not I want to be, but he I want to be your first now, blah, blah, blah. Because he's, I'm not being a racist, but he's kind of black, so he tends to be more aggressive. No, is he kind of black or he's, a, he's an African-American guy type? He no, is. he's really black. Like he's a uh, black he guy. Just, uh, yeah, he just moved here to study or something. All right. So... Oh you know, God, like, gro- growing time. up is here, I'm not really used to those aggressiveness that Filipinos are, right? So it was already freaky, like, ugh, ugh, I'm shaking right now, like, seriously. So she's not okay. Okay, Tina, Tina, not. Tina, 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 Tina. Oh, so did something happen? Right. Mo- yeah, did you guys have sex or not? Yeah. No, we didn't. Oh, my God. See, see okay. she's not okay. All right, Tina. Where is the kilig part of meeting a new guy in the afternoon and how you got over it? <laughs> She, she's not okay. She's just she's just pretending to be to be okay. No, no, I know we know that, Ken. But yeah. what I'm saying is, like, I want to no. know how she just jumps and says, "Okay, no. I, I'm over it I because I met better. this new guy in the afternoon." That, that well, I thought I was over it. See, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's just saying that it's over. All right, right now. all right. It's not. Listen, you're not there anymore, are you? I mean, you're not, yeah. you're far from this. Yeah, you're far from this guy, right? Yeah, this partially um, black guy. He lives near my school. Okay. Okay. We're, listen, we're going to break this down. It's going to be about a five to seven minute call. So let's break it down piece by yeah, piece here, real okay. quick. All right. First of all, sorry. we're going to take this up as a learning experience never to go out with Facebook guys yep. again or strangers or ever go to another guy's house that you don't know well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, because we can't change what happened this morning, mm-hmm. but we're going to get even. We'll get to that later. Um, <laughs> okay. No, I fucking hate this guy, right? Uh-oh. We're going to make sure he pays. Uh, <laughs> B. What happened to you? Where, where, what happened to the family? Where, where do you get this, this, this reasoning in your head that I'm okay. bored, there's a guy who's stalking me, and I'm going to go to his house, and then when I'm all on. of this shit happens in the morning, you're like, okay, I'm killing about this new guy who I met this afternoon. No, because um, I think the whole bored thing came up because I've been single my whole life. Not because like there's no one liking me, but then it's just... Um, I don't know, like, I just didn't find a good guy. And then I just started to, like, try it with this guy. But I'm like, try lang, like, to see if, you know, maybe I'll be attracted to him if I, you know, hang out with him. Okay, yeah, sorry, all right, but, but, Tina, okay, you fucked up, right? We, you went to this house, you should have done it. Why are you now <laughs> killing about a new guy on the same day that this... Oh, shit. You know, she's not, Mo. She's not killing. She's just trying to distract mask, herself, yeah, distract yeah. herself from know, what happened. I know, this but I want to know if this guy is real. The new guy is real. And I know she's trying to mask it. We, obviously, with her with her fake energy and all that stuff. Hold on, Pat. Yes. Call her back now. Okay. Um, but, but there must have something something happened to her at a young age, Kenny. You younger. know it. We keep their numbers, right? Yeah, she, they're, they're going to get her back on. She's on yeah, a cell phone. I That's mean, why she got disconnected. Yeah. And I, I, we'll get back to her in just a little bit. Let's go <laughs> to, to, talk to this guy. yeah. We got to talk to her, and we got to find out if she's got any brothers who can yeah. beat the shit out of this guy. Um, she needs. We, she's going to need help. She's not. She. We can't just you know let her go and then. Oh yeah, um, no, feel no, no. We're gonna promote therapy and all mm-hmm. that stuff that's gonna come with it. I just want to beat How the shit she? out of this guy. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. yeah. But Damn why did she go in the room? That's the and thing. In America, that's yeah, no there. longer rape. Mm-mm. Fuck yeah! All right, Gladys, you're thirty-one. You've been on hold forever. What's up? Hello. Hi, dear. What's going on? Hi. Um, I was about to talk about uh, my foreign husband. Sure. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't know if you remember me. I called before in Magic 89. Nope, I don't. Yeah, and then you have a topic that it says, um, ano yung hinahide mo pag nag-shopping ka? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You're you're hiding expenditures from your husband Every or wife. Right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember you, but I remember the topic. Anyway, what's up? Yeah, I told you that I was hiding everything, and you said what? Bakit ganon? Oh, you had the uh, you had the Islamic uh, husband. Yeah, I know. Pardon, Chinese. Oh, China. Okay, I thought he was the guy from the uh, Islamic area. What's this? The uh, the the He's Arabian reformed. areas. He's All right. Reformed. All right. Anyway, what's going on? Um, now, bumabalik ka naman siya sa pagiging ganun. Yung pag every time nag-grocery ako, magtatanong siya. Tapos, parang, ganun lang yung binibigay. How, how, how old is he? 31. 31 also? Same age. Your, your age? Okay. So, you have a super kuripot husband. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, um, pag yun nga, pag mag-check up yung, may, may kid na kami. Pag nag-check up yung kid, tatanong niya how much. Tapos, pag ganun lang ang sukli ko, magagalit siya. Kasi syempre, um, magka-taxi ka, mag Yeah, okay. So, so okay, we, let's get back to it. You're a super kitty put husband. What do you want to do about it? What's the question? Is that really normal na even single peso, wala akong... Kasi I don't have a job. Tapos siya, um, sila lang yung job ko. Everything, I'm hands-on mom. Saka ako talaga lahat dito. Okay. Tapos, all, right, all right, all right. Okay, we get it. What's the question? Is it normal? Um, Is it normal? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Is he an accountant? <laughs> um, it's normal that people are tight on money. It depends on the situation you're in, things like that. But it's it. He should also make make um, realize that uh, there's two of you people in this relationship. If one person's quarter you put, then the other person is not. That you guys are going to clash about finances and stuff like that. You just make sure you verbalize to him. Listen. I, I I need I want I want to feel empowered by having at least a little bit of money in my pocket that that I can do anything I want with because this is not going to be a happy relationship if uh, everything is counted. Even still, wala ako. I'm sorry. Every day. Mm. Kait kait makano? Yeah, kasi siya lang sa kanya lang nagagaling tapos nagkukwestion pa siya. Mm. Okay, but did you open up a bank account on your own already that you're huh? hiding? Did you did you open up a bank account that you're hiding? No, not yet. Because how can I? He doesn't even give me personal. Kahit. All right, all right, all right. So she doesn't work. Martin, what are, we, what are we going to tell this guy? I don't about? know. I mean, she, if she doesn't work, she doesn't have her own. I mean, obviously, this guy doesn't believe in what's mine is ours. You can't steal, though? You can't steal money from him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Good only... lesson, Mo. I'm oh, sorry? That's okay. a good lesson, Mo. No, I mean, seriously, right? I mean, this sucks. It's a crappy existence. Tapos, pag nag-steal ka naman, super, parang feeling ko, napa-consensya napa naman nun, di ba? No. No, steal away. Listen, if you find some money lying around, I'll take that shit. Because this is not a, this is not fun for you. Yeah, especially I mean, if it's a marriage. Yeah. Put I some mean, aside in case of emergency. Yeah, because next thing you know, if something goes on and, and something goes wrong, you're going to be left yeah, with zero. zero. I want you to have a, a, a secret bank account where you could at least put a little bit of here and there. I, I don't know how this is going to... Sell pull something, this off. you know. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, Be resourceful. You're garage, Filipino. <laughs> garage sale, things like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Gladys, talk to him because you're you're miserable in this relationship. Oh, up, Yun. You don't want this. This is not this is not the existence you dreamed for when you were in your early twenties. You're thirty one. Yeah. You can still you can still do something about it. Okay. And yeah, we're living in a condo. Tapos ako lang yung hindi nag drive ng car kasi ayon yung ako bingyan yung mga ganon. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Listen, I, if I were you, I I I'd think about leaving. Okay. Uh huh. All right, baby. Thank you. All right. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. <laughs> Let's get our girl back here, Tina. Hello. Yeah, you got disconnected, love. Yeah, I know. I don't have load anymore. No problem. <laughs> we fixed that for you by calling you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, where were we? So there was there a new guy? Uh, sorry, I, I, I know. I, I hope I'm not lingering on this. Was there a new guy that you met this afternoon? No. No, I didn't really. Cause like, um, do you know Fanny Serrano Salon? Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I dropped by there just to buy makeup and then. This one guy who went inside, who got his hair cut, and yeah, I just got skillet over that. And then, you know, I like I took all the happiness from there, just to go for that whole morning. So I guess I, I'm just trying not to, you know, I don't know, like I'm just a bubbly person that... Okay. I try not to make it seem like something happened. Even yeah, but, but uh, if, my, my worry, love, uh-huh. is you're relying on other guys. Guys here, guys there who are making you happy, oh. making you sad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Okay, na. Na. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the phone. <laughs> All right. All right. So here we go. Tina, first things first. Mm-hmm. We need you to get some therapy to, to uh, try to, to try to talk. You need to talk to somebody about this because what happened to you? Uh, well, was it criminal? I mean, was it? Uh, no. It, was, it wasn't criminal? No, I feel like it was, it wasn't with her consent. 
Well, she, she went, went in the room. She went to the room, yeah. You know, but didn't do anything. She, she did say, "Don't touch me," though. She was touched, but not. But she like, yeah. But she's eighteen. Violatedly she went, touched. Yeah. Don't assume me because we're we're both non-minors. So something happened. You can't yeah, get me arrested. How, how far? How far did he get to you, with you? If you don't mind. Yeah, he, he didn't go far at all. Like he was touching, and I was saying, I was telling him, "Please don't touch me." I'm just trying to be as friendly as I can to him because mm. I don't want to be all rude and like disrespect him, even if he sort of is. I don't know. I just, ugh. Okay. Well, I was just, yeah. So how are you able to get out of the room? I kept on texting with my friends while that's happening. And then I said, hey, can you text me a pretend message that we need to go get lunch together? And then he te- my friend texted me. And then I said, oh, hey, my friend just texted me that uh, we, we had an appointment or, or lunch together. So I okay. really need okay. to go. All right. You did a good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Very oh, okay. good. Yeah. We'll, we'll applaud you there. All right. Uh, I, I, uh, my worry here now, Gan Martin, and this is just for me, and you guys go ahead and put in your points, is this girl gets her kick out of socializing with these guys that she barely knows and stuff like that. She finds this rush. Oh, I find- do this a lot. Yeah, oh, but it doesn't matter if you do it defense. a lot. You can do it one time and you're going to get screwed yep. over. And then that's what I worry for you, Tina. You're too young to be to be doing this by yourself. You need If you're going to meet guys, you do it with a group of friends. You, you don't put yourself in situations where something bad might happen to you. That's my worry mm-hmm. for you, you know? Um, yeah, I actually got warned by a lot of people. But then I was like, okay, I'm gonna secretly do this because I don't know, just for fun. Yeah, and no, then, you're gonna get, yeah. dude. It's not fun when you not when fun. shit like that happens to you. And you, I don't want to say you were lucky this morning, but it could have gotten a lot worse. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we, we I, I I don't know. Again, we we're gonna re- recommend therapy to her. Yeah, um, <laughs> when you when you hang up, don't don't let her hang up because I want to get her, give her her number, and I'll yeah, refer nah, her to someone. Yeah, nah. <laughs> oh my oh, god, yeah, you're yeah. the best. No, no, be careful about that. No, I'm a doctor. I've done this before. Since... So that's that's the advantage of being a doctor. They give you the... yeah, 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 or a balladeer. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, any anything you want to add to this girl? Well, just just don't you know if you don't want to get burned, stay out of the fire. So learn don't from put lessons. Yourself, yeah, don't, yeah. yeah you, you learn from this. This is a very big warning. Yeah. Yeah. And then a guy, the new guy, that's not a sign or a... But you can use no, it as a sign. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to, you know, fake it. doesn't it. mean anything. No, no, you don't know. fake it. You can't fake happiness. You mm-hmm. can't pretend like something is going to take the place of your fear, of your shaking. No, you just really have to be smarter next time. Yeah, you know what you did? It's a normal reaction to to look for something that will try to mask Adventure, whatever bad yeah. feeling you that you had this morning. Tina, but you know, eventually yeah. you have to talk about this, and you, we really have to. Yeah. Um, you know. Tina, did you did anything happen to you growing up? Uh, maybe. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, just this once, like never happened to me before. Right. Your dad, your dad's good. He's around. He's he was around yeah, the whole time. <laughs> Everybody's good. All right, no violence, none of that shit. No, no, no. All right, all right. Yeah, you just fucked up. There. Listen, Everybody yeah. does. Yeah. yeah, you just. Yeah, I did. I'm really, really sorry. No more. Stay away from boys. Bite when you're by yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right, doll. Thanks for the call. Okay. Bye bye. Ooh, let's see here. We got so many. We have no more time. Uh, let's go really, really quick here. Lenny, you're 25. You're on a cell phone. Really quick. What's up? Yeah. Hi. Um. I just. Want, I just would like to ask you if, if there's such a thing as too much respect for one's girlfriend. Is there too much what? Respect for respect. one's girlfriend. Yeah. What do you mean? Um, my boyfriend won't let, won't do nasty things at me or to oh. me. We do it, but then it's yeah. You want him to go? Uh, you want him to go nuts on you? How, what? What do you want? What do you want from him? I want him to just. I I, I know that uh, if other couples do other things, what we do is just three positions. Only okay, three but positions. what do you want though, Lenny? L- tell me, like. I, Simple blowjob won't he? He won't even let me do it. What a fact! Really? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he doesn't want a blowjob. <laughs> yeah. What kind of guy I'm is so... this? Break yeah. up now! <laughs> I'm Whoa. throwing myself at him, and then he doesn't want to. He, sa- he says that he, um, he doesn't see me doing that. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He doesn't want. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. want his girl to look <laughs> yep. like she's a yep. porn star. Right. There, yeah. This can be. Yeah. This you can. It, it's okay. There are the some men. solution. Go, perfect go, solution. Martin. Bring it. Tell him to close his eyes. There. Oh my and God. then just think of Stevie Wonder. I mean, he doesn't—he <laughs> can't see it, but the wonder alone is yeah. going to. Do, un- do understand that there are men like this. You know, they <laughs> they're, know purist. Yeah. They're, they're purists. They're purists. They, 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 they so, but, but you two have to talk. You know, um, you have your wa- you have your needs. He has his needs. And yeah. um, what do you want him to do to you that he's not doing? 
Um, just nasty things. I really don't know. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm okay with the normal things, but then I'm afraid that I'll, be, I'll get tired or bored with this really... Is it, is it, is it, is it really slow and romantic? He's, like, you, want, you want him to like, just not even like that. It's bang not the hell out of you, right? Mm. We're just doing three things, three normal positions. All right. Mm. Yeah. Well, listen. Yeah. You know, what you might want to do is <laughs> I <must> say, <laughs> buy yourself a vibrator. Make sure to get caught using it. I want to see the look on his face <laughs> when he walks in. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, no. he, he knows that I'm touching myself. <laughs> but then, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I just, I just, I just want you to help me. Yeah, do you okay. love him? Do you love him? Of course I do. I would never. Then you have uh, to be patient. Me. You have to pay, be uh, patient. Tell him. Start with that. Close your eyes. Yeah. It's it, not me. <laughs> You're There's gonna, another yeah, woman in here. Yeah, you, my name is Mabel. Yeah, Martin brings up a good point. Introdu- and I'm Mabel. Introduce the nastiness slowly, slowly, um, and then you know get progressively more aggressive as you know the weeks and the months go down the line. You know what I mean? Like if 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 you if you want to give him a blowjob, make sure not to do an aggressive blowjob. You know, make sure okay, not to okay. swallow the you know swallow the jizz or anything like that. That might get him kind of weirded out. Just you know, nice little start with hand jobs. As he is he okay with the hand job? Yeah, he's okay with that. All right, no, just but not not me opening my mouth. Anyway, have would, you to, have you told him? Okay, can I put it in my mouth? No, he wouldn't dare me touch his his thing Wait. with my. No, like, just say please. <laughs> please. Like, this is no, not my mouth. Know. You know, that's my hand. That's my hand. That's my hand. All right, Len- Lenny. Listen, you just uh, you're gonna have to verbalize your needs to yep. this. Just not, uh, not, to him. Yeah, not not, agree, not so aggressive. To... Not so aggressive, though. All right. But the thing is, wouldn't he be turned off? No. no, no, no. Well, if it gets no. turned off, why are you guys in that situation yeah. anyway? You're yeah. naked anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's that's the point. Trying the moment. You're yeah. already there. Yeah, you're right. Martha's right. You guys are having sex anyway. Mm-hmm. So you're what the sex. fuck? Tell him. Tell him to stop being a puss. All right, all, all right. right. I'll do that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Boy, these last couple of callers are, were, were pretty good, Martha. I don't even have a hard time <laughs> picking out the bad caller of the night. Jello, you're the last one. Hurry, quickly, go. Hello. Yes, Jello. go. Uh-huh. Yes, no. Um, yeah, my boyfriend just called me. And ask him to go to his place right now. Okay, bye. All right. <laughs> Have a yeah. nice walk. Okay. <laughs> He's walking. Your boyfriend called you to go to his house right now? Yeah. Okay, why do we care? Really? What's that? Uh, because, he, like, last Thursday I called the show. And, I'm yeah, I called the show. And we just broke up last last Friday. And, like, right now, and last uh, Friday I went to his place. Um, condo. And, okay, okay. And so, so, I like so, waited there for five hours, and now he's calling me to go there for like a hookup right now. Oh, he mm. wants to. He wants to. This. He wants to have sex with you. Yeah. Okay. Are you Are you gonna go? I don't know. What? what do you want? You're 17. Are you gonna Are you yeah. gonna get Are you gonna get violated in the anus or what? No, I'm 18, and 18. I'm asking you if I should go or not. Mm. It, it's up to you. This is your butthole, not yeah. ours. No, because he just hurted me. I mean, mm. he hurt me. Hurt him back. <laughs> <laughs> hurted, hurted him back then. <laughs> no, uh, Jello, uh, it's it's really your call. I mean, you guys are not in a relationship anymore. If you want there, if you want to go there for some sex, then that's on you, buddy. You you just don't 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 feel like you know th- this relationship is going to get any better or it's going to be saved if you go over there. If he only wants to hook up, okay, Jello. Okay. All right, brother. Thanks for the call. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. No worries, dude. Oh, sorry. Whoa. Oh god, we gotta get this guy. He's been in Singapore. Kwa Wanamacha, he's been on hold for freaking ever. <laughs> Let's get to him. Sorry, Martin. Really, really quick. He's been complaining. I had no life. Are you kidding? Uh, yeah, yeah, Valentine's Day. Yeah, no and place to go. You're sure? you're, all right. Let's see. Let's. Uh, it's Mark in Singapore, <laughs> and he's been saying, "What the hell? Are you? I've been on hold here forever." Uh oh, he's gonna be. A, this is gonna be a loud call. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> hold on one second. If My I don't get is- if I don't get him in the next ten seconds, we are okay. Here we go. Let's go. This is the guy. Oh, he's gone already. Sorry. Really quickly before I get to... No, okay. He's gone. All right. Sorry, dude. Uh, we'll try to get to you tomorrow. I really apologize. Vicky Bell on the program tomorrow. All right. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Taking your calls. That's Wednesday, cool. it's going to be Rufa Gutierrez. On Thursday, Pia Guano. All right. So, Martin, what, how say you? Well, we can take a break, and then we can go ahead and come back with who you thought was caller of the night. Who do you like? Who do I like so far? Yeah. As far as what, what and the prize would be? Well, they're going to choose between the three, the BlackBerry, the Trip for Two to Japan, or SMB Premium uh, items. They're going to pick from a, from a so jar one, here. So one winner? One winner. One okay. caller of the night. I think I have a favorite. Already. Who do you like? Well, I felt bad for the guy with the three inches. Oh, sure, man. sure. But I think I, we need to do a favor for the... The girl who likes girls. The lesbian girl. I think she needs a little uh, mm. encouragement. All right. Let's go call her, and uh, we'll, we'll kind of re... 
I gotta retell her story. I forgot what she was like. I liked her voice too. What was about her? She had, she, had a, she just broke up with her girlfriend, and the girlfriend uh, kind of wants her back, and but only for sex. Nice. All right, let's do that. Taking a break. Last commercial break. Back with caller of the night. See what she wins. Martin Vera on the program. Don't go away. Just a few few minutes. Stay t- 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 tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Dude, what about my model? Puede. You don't puede. Uy, si San Pinto. Puede nga. Uy, San Meg Light. Pwede. Low calorie San Miguel Light. Magaan sa chan. Para kung mabang inuman. Pwede mo ki join friends ko. Pwede. You know, guys, when you make momol with your girl, you caress each other's face. You're so much in love, but the thing is. Her hand sticks to your cheek. Kadire. Nakakadire. Guys, every moment counts. Use Bella Men Toner, freshen up your skin, and be ready for that moment. Six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by San Miguel Light. And powered by SmartPro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right, as we wrap it up tonight, it is uh, Valentine's night. Thank you very much again to our guest. He did an excellent job. Martin Rivera, of course, on the program. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate Thank you, Mo. It's great. It's great to see you again. I'm glad. I'm, I'm very happy with all the things that are happening to you. So you keep it up. Likewise, buddy. I meant yeah. your career. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> <As always. laughs> Martin has chosen our uh, lovely lesbian as caller of the night. Let's see what she wins. Uh, Anne, is that yeah. right? Hi, dear. Hi. Oh, yeah, that's right. The <laughs> voice. Just the voice alone. Yeah, she voice. wins. <laughs> the voice alone. So, Anne, um, you are uh, chosen to be our caller of the night. You have a chance at three prices here. One of them is SMB Light Premium Items. The other is a BlackBerry 9780. And the third is a trip for two to Japan. Two. Now, now this Japan uh, trip, you can use it any time. If you want to go snowboarding, you can do that right now. You want to go through the cherry blossoms, that's fine. You want to go through the summertime and you just want to experience Tokyo, whatever. It's it's in your pocket. Oh my god! All right, so you're you're good to go here. So you got to pick one, two, or three. Martin will uh, read out uh, what you want. Sure. Now. No, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I choose three. Three. Martin, let's see what's if in. If you three. don't mind, please. And sure. remember, these these prizes we recycled tomorrow. If uh, nobody wins it, hmm. you had a sixty six percent chance at. And it's a <laughs> San Miguel San beer gift pack premium. Are you from, serious? From was that part of it? <laughs> yes, it was. It was the third oh, one. Oh man! Oh my god! Oh, and well, listen, I hope you drink. It's good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they are our sponsor, but yeah, you I mean, stay sexy. let's let's be. Uh, yeah, you probably you stay want to sexy. All right, sorry, love. The trip was in jar number. Oops, shit. Uh, the one jar that number broke. two, I believe. Man, you, you should have said two. And then number one was the uh, BlackBerry. All right, Damn, doll. Damn, but good. It's, it's, it's good. either one or three are the most often. Yes. Oh, no. Place, right? uh, Sorry, love, but thanks for the call. Hope you had fun thank anyway. You. All right, Take have care. a good one. Martin, again, dude. Please, if you're Thank if you. you're ever in the area and you're bored and you want to come by again, please let's let's. let's this uh, is a great setup, my God! I wish I was your age. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that far. Away. There's still not lots of time. really, but thank you so much for inviting me. And happy Valentine's Day to you, yes, and all those you love. Yes, you too as well. Just you in can... case someone forgets to greet you, Valentine. Yes, just in case. Yeah, you can we download s- this, you heard it Martin. Here first. You can even <laughs> uh, subscribe to our podcast. I know you're a Mac user, so iTunes very uh, easily available on on most Macs, or at least on all Macs, and. You can subscribe to it by go to the iTunes store, type in Good Times with Mo, or my name, Mo Twister. You'll find it. And you can subscribe to it and download your episode. You can also get it on MoTwister.com as well as SanMegLight.com.ph. And we want to thank them as our major sponsor as well as Smart Bro for powering all of this. So, again, 
We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Mikey Bella will be Good on times. the show. Yep. Thank you again, Martin Ivera. Mm-hmm. All right. Have a great, night, great Valentine's. Happy, Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's, everyone. Bye-bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was brought to you by San Mig Light. Executively produced by Mohan Gumata. Engineered by Miguel Alfindo. And operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Dr. Gan Montenegro, Larry Carlat, and Magic 89.9. <laughs> Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is a Battle Axe production. Recorded at the Smart Bro Studios in Manila, Philippines. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com. Website www.motwister.com. Ha <laughs> ha